uh, I just saw a, a video. Uh, the whole composition of this of this video uh, description brought me, gave me just a hard flashback. <laughs> yeah. Good old Wait, Google thirteen Plus. years ago. Holy <laughs> shit! Oh god, I'm old. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what is it, Molly? God, yeah, Google Plus was that long ago, wasn't it? Jesus. Your bones right there, girl. You can get it. All right. She's she's staring at me through the mirror. <laughs> it's the strangest thing she does. She's looking at you through the glass. And don't know how much time has passed. All the news interferes. Like, all right. And copyright strike. Ollie, get in the roll twenty. <laughs> God, I, if, if, that's a, if that's a song that gets me copyright strike, I want Corey Taylor to bust through my window himself and just deck me in the face until I surrender. I think he could do it. I, no, I'm sure he could. I feel like I would deserve it too. <laughs> it sounds like in character for him. Like if that's if that's what gets me killed, then it better be good. You know what I mean? Go out and blaze of glory and all that. Oh no! Right. No, he's just. Slipknot. I think I, I got a mix up with the fucking Metallica guy. <laughs> yeah? That that's that's all. That's all I had to say on that. Alright. Anyway. So, uh so. first things first. Ollie, mm -hmm. I respect your decision, but I'm also invoking my rides of DM and I'm putting that song back in. Ah uh, understandable. Well, it's some, a some... good piece. Most of my playtime on BFA was just AFK in this city. <laughs> yeah. And it was a nice track to listen to while you did nothing. Was that the fucking uh, Pirate City? Yeah. I like yeah. that place. That place was great. Yeah. The <laughs> little bit of BFA that Mark played, that was it. That's to fair. be fair, it, it was probably the only one of the few good parts of BFA. Those zones were fun. I liked them. All one of them. All one of them. <laughs> All right, all ready to get started. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. I'm ready to die. All right. I guess pirate music probably isn't completely accurate for this city, but whatever. I love it. We're, we're on the docks. It's close enough. Exactly. So, we're about to take off onto the ocean. Then we'll be in Pirate City. Yeah. You say that, you say that, but didn't you put Captain Gang, Gang Blank music? Yeah, <laughs> I did. Uh -huh. yeah. no, I, I'm, acknowledge, I'm acknowledging that what I did didn't make sense, and I'm still doing it because I have that power. And we all ran with it. Yeah. It's nautical, it's close enough. So, hello everyone. Hi. Hello. So, what did we do last time? Let's see. You guys all arrived at the city of Ostia at in its home turf, searching for clues on Solara. While you're here, you met up with A and its friends and family, including uh, got Gaynor, the boy, Adargo, the boy, Morn, the girl, and his parents, Evander and Hilda. Lots of well, lots of people here in this town. Everybody. Well, this is the most. What? No, go on. Please, I, continue. I think it's the most no, I, I want to head open at once. That's all. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Um, while you're here, Kira challenged more into a fight in the arena, which, while close, unfortunately proved to the favor of the current reigning champion of the Circus Ostia. But it was a fair fight, and Morn treated you with the respect of a gladiator. Rem remind me who Hilda is. Hilda is uh, Anit's mom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I was like very, very confused. <laughs> I was very confused. I just saw this nun pop up because I didn't see her image when we first talked. To her. <laughs> it's traditional Dressonian garb, Ollie. You, you wouldn't like, understand. <laughs> like, what the fuck is this nun? <laughs> Don't <Yeah>. remember a meeting. <laughs> Spending some time in the city, uh, Anit spoke with Gain Orbit and learned that he had decided to go on a bit of a mission of his own volition to journey south to the Tempestra Islands in search of a relic from a long-dead Dressonian lord living on the islands to the south of Ostia. After a bit of a uh, tense conversation, you all agreed that you would accompany this 
uh, individual to his destination and see what lies ahead. So that is where we pick up with the Sentinels of Tesmerain. Oh, perfect music change. Uh, currently, after a bit of a heated conversation, chilling mm-hmm. in the Dock Home Bazaar, he found a nice table as a gentle rainfall begins, falls through the docks, as it has ever since you got to the city. It is a crowded day, about noon. Many people are going to and fro to the fish market, to trading things coming in and out of port. <clears throat> and you've all just found a moment to, t- to catch your breath and sit and discuss. As you're having this discussion, uh, you see a tall figure making its way through the crowd a very large man in a red cloak mm. pushing, it, pushing his way through who could it be is this by chance a paladin uh kira you actually recognize this figure as oh. the as the priest you spoke to earlier that day as tight oh, as tight speaker of vargas my he friend actually, he actually has a sheet now Yay. can i can i ask what is he Goliath. Uh, oh, okay. All right. Right. right yeah. Right, right. This is the closest picture I find to what I had in mind, but I actually kind of like it, so we're going yeah, with it. It works. I like it. Yeah. He looks excellent. Can't just ask what someone is, Mark. What the fuck? <laughs> I knew I was going to get that. There you I go. knew it. I thought you were talking about class, but you know that's okay too. You you can try to run from Mean Girls, but you can never escape from. I'll them. never escape, and I've I've come to embrace it. Indeed. All right. And as this is happening, uh, Kira, you notice that you notice him journeying his way through the crowd. Uh, he appears to be holding several bundles in his arms as he's, pu- as he's pushing his way through. And he looks over and he notices you, Kira. I'm going to wave at him. He attempts to wave back, but then he realizes his arms are full. So he instead, awkwardly, as a man as large as him does, he's maybe not the tallest Goliath you've ever seen. <laughs> And the dogs go crazy. They're angry they dogs. Uh, not the tallest guy you've ever seen. Maybe six and a half to close to seven feet tall. Still, still very tall. But... And he begins awkwardly shouldering and inching his way through the crowd. Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Holding many large bundles and bags with him. Holding and he comes. Dog. What? Nothing. He comes and he kind of awkwardly squeezes himself onto the bench next to all of you. Ugh. You have... I'm sorry, it was uh, Kira, right? Yep, that'd be me. Right, uh, I looked into the uh, specifics of that journey we're talking about. I, it does seem that we are, in fact... Oh my god, hold on. You know, I gotta say, Charlotte has a quality bark. I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Mickey, you have this to look forward to. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Um, so many dog barks. Yeah. So Vargas, uh, sorry. Can get back in the character. All right, so I, uh... <clears throat> All right. Sorry, the dogs are still... All right, we're good. No more distractions. We're fine. So the Vargas looks at you. Well, I spoke with uh, Captain Brennold. It seems that we are indeed going to be on uh, on this voyage together. I thought about what you said. You had asked about uh, Paladin to escort us, and well, first things first. I'll get to that in a moment. Just some uh, lines of business to go about. Is this uh, the party that will be traveling with us? And he looks to the two of you. Yes, sir. But there's there's another one. Uh, one more. Is he is he with us? He he's going to be coming soon. Gaynor has stormed off at this point. Ah, uh, goody. I, I, uh, <clears throat> I assume that's the contract. Yes. Yes, I, uh, I haven't met him, but I've, I've been made aware of uh, his current needs for transport. So I spoke with the captain. Uh, he wishes to leave uh, with the high tide, which is either going to be at dusk tonight or at dawn tomorrow morning. And he extended me. He asked me to extend the courtesy to you all of, since you are the ones who will be accompanying us on this journey, to decide when that will be, as, you know, as you are paying the captain, or as he had already been paid. I'll be honest; I'm not entirely sure on the details. However, if you have a decision, if you need more time in the city, now would be the time to make that decision. If we need to leave in a few hours or tomorrow morning. 
Um, maybe we should just leave without him. Just, just, <laughs> just if, get if the we're, credit if, for Aeon. If, if, if we're not, if we're, oh my god. I, I don't El, think Elion. the captain leave without the contract, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sure we can probably double what he pays you. You're broke! I'm we're all broke! Get, I'm not the one getting paid. I'm. This is my, this is my simple duty as a, as a man of the sea, to accompany right, the ship. Right. I don't but turn it, down it, tips though. But it, but you do want access to the, to that, college school whatever, right? I mean, and? yes, but I was, I, I want to get there on my own effort, you know, and uh, I I didn't find this lead, uh, Gaynor did, so I don't think it would be very fair. I'd be I'd be poaching the opportunity from him, and that would be, well, he's an well, old friend of mine, it wouldn't, he doesn't deserve that. Hey, hey, one thing is, is just finding the treasure map, another thing is actually getting the treasure. Well, that, that's the, that's the point, that's why he's going there. <laughs> I, I don't mean to be rude. Uh, I just need to know when we're leaving. Oh, um, uh, probably when he, when the other guy arrives here, I guess. My guess is uh, dusk would be fine. Yeah, I, I would prefer to oh get. I, I would prefer to get going as soon as possible if we can. Okay, that'll that'll be in a few hours. Then you have until uh, be on the ship about an hour before sundown. Then we'll head off. So that's one order of business. Number two, and then you can get back to your personal discussions of whatever I do not want to get involved in. Uh, Kira, you mentioned to me a need for a paladin of some kind. Potentially, yes. Unfortunately, as I said, I don't think you'll have much luck finding one within the city walls. However, I did think of an alternative mm -hmm. if you're in need fighting the undead. And okay. he reaches into one of his pouches and he pulls out these three clay flasks that are each one um, a bit smaller than the palm of an average person's hands for a goliath or they look a bit smaller to him oh, alcohol up uh, there what uh, <laughs> i didn't hear what you said no I, I said alcohol uh as far as you can tell they're empty mm. they're kind of oblong diamondish shape <laughs> or rounded diamondish shape um very ornately decorated, a light brown clay with a darker design depicting uh, different artistic interpretations of a Melora. And on the cap, actually, Kira, you recognize is not the exact same, but very similar to the tattoo you've seen a uh, Solara sport around. Oh, okay. So what I may be able to do for you all, this would require a bit of a compromise between us. Um, if you would like, I can craft for you a few vials of holy water. That may prove useful in uh, in melees against the undead. Mm. I should say it does have a bit of a price to it. Not me trying to be greedy, of course. It's that the simple properties of the spell require a bit of a monetary investment, simply in the purchase of silver dust. Mm, of course, of course. So it's okay. roughly ah. ah. Well, that's what it, that's what I'm getting to. I just have to remember how much it is. I think I know how it is, but I want to make sure I get this right. Uh, mechanically speaking, how much... What, what do they do, exactly? I'll get to that in a minute. I, oh, okay. <clears throat> he, so, he's, just, he's just Googling real quick. Yeah. I, I was right. I just want to make sure I was right. So it takes about... Each flask is about 25 gold worth of silver dust. I can make up to three if you'd be willing to compensate me the cost for that, and I would happily provide these for you. Hmm... 25 each, and I have three I can possibly make, what, whatever may work for you. What they do, to answer your question, young wizard, they are especially impactful against those of an unholy nature, such as fiends or undead. Essentially, it will... It causes their flesh to burn at, the, at contact with it. So, so what kind of damage die are we talking about here? Uh, 2d6 radiant. Hmm, not bad, not bad. And you can either dump it on them in melee range, or you can throw it. Uh, speaking out of the game, like we can get those, but we might be out of money to, uh, from hiring an actual paladin. <laughs> but there are no actual there, paladins. There are none. That, 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 I'm, not, I'm not losing faith. <laughs> Lose faith. 
I'm Are you like, hoping to just sit in the tavern and just wait for someone to walk through the door? It's gonna be sitting outside the place, just waiting. Sitting outside, just waiting for us as we land on the island. So, uh, oh there! We've been waiting for you. <laughs> Alright, so, so that's... Uh, uh, so it'd be 25 gold per, and I can make up to three of them. Uh, if you'd like me to do this for you, I'd be more than happy to. It's just a simple ritual that I can do during the journey, and they will be ready for you by the time we make landfall in uh, in the Tempestia Islands in Brooksillin. Uh How about each of us buy one, then? Yeah, I'm I'm cool with that. I that'd think be... it might be a good idea. Uh, I'd be okay. good for that. Uh, 25 gold each, then, and okay. I'll go get some supplies for this. Okie dokie. I'm going to give him 25 gold. Mark that off. Okay. I am so broke. How broke are you? Good question. I, I have 21 gold. I, I could be so more broke. broke, but not I'm not quite in broke bitch territory, but I'm getting close. It's dangerously close. Why don't we do a show before we take off? Yeah, some pirates could use, or sailors could use although, some music, I'm sure. Although, or, uh, wasn't Elion supposed to keep a low profile? Oh, yeah. Uh, tossing swords around, that's kind of an identifiable performance art. So, yeah. you, so all three of you gave him, you gave him 25 gold? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. All right, cool. <clears throat> uh, you, I, you'll... Could I like roll out the inside check just real quick? Just make just making sure he's like he's not overcharging or anything. Yeah, go for it. Oh god, that, I forgot I'm dumb. <laughs> uh oh. It, you're, it's mm. your nature to be a bit paranoid about these things, and as you're thinking as you're um trying to look into him, there's a crack of thunder as a bit of lightning strikes the ocean a few miles uh, south of you. And you get into oh shit. Is he calling Malora to intimidate us right now? Not even realizing Malora isn't even the god of storms. You're just too paranoid at the moment. <laughs> I right. trust him. I gave him my money. He seems like a very reliable person. I like him. Right. Uh, I'll go get this squared away, and I'll let the captain know we're leaving tonight. Uh, you have about four hours, I would guess. Anything you need to do in the city... Now's the time to do it. Otherwise, feel free to meet us on the Gale Trust. Excellent. There's anything else you need? I'll be there. It's always nice to see you all. Thank nice to meet you. you. He smiles and nods to you, Kira. See you soon, Tide Speaker Vargas. Sorry, what was that? Said, see you soon, Tide Speaker Vargas. That was Cole asking, not him. So. Not, see, not see as well. See you soon. Mm hmm. And he will head disappear back into the crowd with his oversized uh, bags full of all sorts of various equipment. Yes, and you are now left sure alone in the crowded uh, Dock Home Bazaar. I would like to go to a potion shop before we leave. Uh, Akira, is his name actually Tide Speak or is that a title? I believe that's a title. It could be his name. Maybe. Everyone referred to each other as Tide Speaker somethings over there, so I'm guessing it's a title. Yeah, maybe that's the requirement for entryhood into their brotherhood. They just uh, all maybe... have to be named Tide Speaker. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just one big family. Yeah. With all the same first name. Yeah. Well, maybe maybe they use the the family name first instead of the uh, the personal name. Maybe. That's well, possible. That would be very strange for Ostia because I've never heard of such a thing, but it could be. Uh, well, well, don't, don't enforce your privileged views on them. What the hell? The, the Tide Speakers are an old institution of Ostia. Religion uh -huh. may not have much of a part for the average Ostian citizen, but the sea is deeply important to us. It is our lifeblood. Hmm. Hmm. And is it important that we maintain a connection with the god of the sea? Which is... Good question, Cole. Who, who's the god of the sea? <laughs> what? Fired. What, what's the name of the god of the it. sea? And I, I just I, said it. I, I can't. It's ba Mala ba Malara. Malara. <laughs> Malora. 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 I'm going to start giving you guys pop quizzes. You think I'm joking? 
<laughs> hey, my, my character doesn't have to know this god and shit. I'm good. <laughs> Uh -huh. My brain I, doesn't consume that kind of information. Aenid is a wizard, not a cleric. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Alright, so. Uh, you guys are going to continue this conversation or you're going out and do stuff? What's the plan? I want to go to a potion shop. Okay. Because I feel like I need another potion. Uh, an another healing potion, just in case. Okay. Yep, I have the gold for it, though. <clears throat> I, I might as well accompany Kira because I don't have anything else to do. Okay. And yes, I do have to go for it. I think. Maybe. Uh, excuse, excuse, excuse me. Okay, so there's not so much as just a only potion shop within Ostia. There is the uh, magic shop that the two of you haven't been to yet. But asking around, you can eventually find your way to the Arcanist Gift. Which mm -hmm. as you... It'll take you a little bit to get there from the Dock Home Bazaar, but you walk through the town for probably about half an hour or so, get, coming back to the same ward of town that the librarian was in, known as the Celium Domus. You enter the shop. It's a beautiful two-story shop. Uh, the second floor kind of lofted behind the front desk, and you see an older elven woman with uh, long gray hair or spectacles standing behind the, uh, the counter, and she looks up at the two of you enter. Ah, good afternoon. How may I help you? I'm looking for a healing pot. What the hell is my lizard doing? I'm sorry. Um, Do you have a lizard? I... Yes. She's scratching on the wall. Um, I must say, pets are not generally permitted within the, the boundaries of the store. I, I would have to ask you to leave your lizard outside. Will do. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's curious if you're carrying a gecko around the whole time. <laughs> no, I have I have a mouse. Uh, the mouse has to be outside, I suppose. Yeah, that too. No, the mouse is hiding. It's fine. It, is the mouse a uh -huh. gecko? No. The mouse's name is Cheese. For a little magic, it, it could be a gecko. Yeah. It could be. <laughs> well, we do, uh, we do sell basic potions of healing for 50 gold apiece. Mm -hmm. Are you looking for mm -hmm. just the basic options, or are you looking to upgrade a little bit? Mm, what's the upgraded one? Well, uh, this is a greater potion of healing. She pulls out a bottle full of a similar kind of crimson liquid uh, that you've seen before, but it's, uh, it's a bit bigger. This one could probably fit in the palm of your hand. We sell these for about 100 gold pieces each, whereas mm -hmm. the regular ones are 50. And what's the healing difference between the two of them? It's, uh, roughly doubled. So How a much greater, a greater potion? One? A greater potion is forty-four, 44 plus, four. plus four, which is not that good, honestly. Hmm. Okay. I'll get the greater healing potion. All right. Which you said it was a hundred? Yeah. Hundred. And do you have materials to make a potion? I believe that can be arranged. How much do you need? Uh enough for one one regular potion of healing. Alright. She she goes and uh looks like she's about to call out someone that she oh, shit. Uh looks like she's running the shop on her own at the moment. Uh, one moment, please. And she disappears behind a door under the staircase, comes back a few minutes later with a, a box of herbs. That'll be uh, 25 gold for the box. Okay. Mm -hmm. So a total of uh, 125 gold, if you don't mind. Okay. Mm -hmm. And may I interest you in any of our other items or scrolls while you're here? No, I'm not smart enough to do any of that. Oh, dear. I'm, sure, I'm certain that's not true. That's what they tell me! That is, well, that is very rude. I know! <laughs> and it sneezes wherever he is. <laughs> oh yeah, I have subtracted that from my gold. Alright. And uh, what of you, young man? Is there anything you would like? Uh... You wouldn't happen to have anything to change appearance, would you? Ah, as a matter of fact, I do. Uh, come with me, come with me. And she will turn and uh, head up the stairs. And uh, she takes you to a nice-looking uh, tricorn hat. 
with a, a dark kind of navy, like dark navy, almost black color with a long feather sticking out of it. Uh, is, let, is a, uh, let it be known that Boop has observed that yet another person is called Kira Deer. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I this, am. I am just deer. This one, okay. This one was intentional because this was a character choice for this person. All right, I'm trying to be aware of it, but this one made sense. <laughs> Let me have this. <laughs> so she pulls out this uh, dark, dark blue tricorn hat. This is a uh, known as a hat of disguise. If you put this on, it will change the, your appearance to another humanoid of your liking. Hmm. This one, uh, starting price for this is uh, 1,800 gold. Oh! Uh, I'm very interested, but I'm also kind of poor, so thank you for your time. <laughs> and as soon as you say that, she like, there's like a twinge to her face as soon as you say that. Like, I see. Uh, maybe you can uh, come back then when you are uh, cured of this disposition. You... Cured? Uh, <laughs> you, you wouldn't happen to do Ranthos, would you? No. <laughs> but have you considered it? I have. Didn't oh. Anid already tell him about all this? Uh, yeah, this I told is... him there's a hat. Like, uh, this know, is the same hat it. you tried to buy. Right, but you didn't have the plus plus nine charisma to do it. <laughs> I mean, How's that it working shot, out man. for you? I don't know how much you can reduce from almost two grand. I I I, I can't do that much, but I can probably make some sort of deal. <laughs> you can most certainly try. Really quick question about the potion of healing uh, yeah. thing. It takes twenty four hours to make, right? Yeah. Gotcha. Thank you. And uh, I mean, you're about to be on a ship, so we'll say you can you can spend a lot of time uh, working on that if you so choose. Maybe I should pick up another one then. It's up to you. Hmm. Mm. Well, if it says uh, it says nothing else, she kind of starts. I have a really quick question, ma'am. Yes. I just realized that I have a lot more time than I thought, so can I have another two boxes of potion ingredients, please? Another two boxes? So you want uh, 50 gold more worth, or just another 25? No, 50. Okay, I can get you, uh, absolutely. And she will go back downstairs and uh, produce uh, two more of those same boxes. That'll be 50 gold fizzies. Okie dokie. Kira, uh, where are you getting this gold from? I have money! Uh, call me surprised. That is the kind of customer we like. Alright, uh, I believe you have enough potion, enough for uh, three basic potions to craft on your own, and one greater at your disposal, ready to be used whenever. Thank you very much. Is there anything else I can help you with? I need help putting my, my potion in my thing. Um, in your inventory sheet? Yeah. Uh, you can just write it somewhere if you want. No, like what I, I what I do is I put it in my treasure and I and I note um how much it is. So like for that one, just like one greater healing, forty four plus four is what I would do. But that's not what you have to do. Mm. They're like so light. I'm not gonna make you worry about inventory if that's what you're talking about. No, but it helps me keep track of how many I have. Then let's see if I can help you out then. Uh... Oh my god. The dogs are trying to eat my pork chops while I'm trying to help you. There <laughs> right. we I'm go. I'll do that. I'm, I'm going to go pee real quick. And uh, we'll uh, do... Boop oh, is saying sorry. just to search for it in roll 20. Yeah, that's what I did. Um, oh. I only see a potion of healing in in roll twenty, though, so I'm just gonna change that to a potion of greater healing. There you go. Oh yeah, just potion of healing. Yay. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. There you go. So that's how you keep track of it, and if you want to make a note for how much it heals, that's up to you. Yes. All right. 
Anything else you want to shop for in the Arcanist gift? Mm, no. All right. So, while that's going on, and while uh, Elyon A poses in the rainy street, <laughs> uh, Mark, or Anid, what are you up to? That's a good question. What am I up to? Uh, Anid, or El... God, I've been... <sighs> I'm tired. It's fine. Elyon and Kira just kind of went off to go do some shopping. Uh, so you were, you're just kind of in the Dockham Bazaar at the moment as a light rain falls down upon you. Gainor storm, stormed off. You're not entirely sure where he went. Yeah, he'll come back sooner or later. Probably. He's like a stray cat. You have the entire city at your disposal for the next four and a half-ish hours until your call time. And Vargas wandered off, correct? Vargas uh, has gone off to purchase the supplies needed to craft the holy water, and then he said he would be heading to the boat. Hmm, okay. Um, are there any, like, guards nearby? Oh, yeah. Um, there's a, a few stationed at, like, points of entrances, stairs up into the rest of the city, a few patrolling around. Okay. Uh, I, I'd like to uh, approach one of them. Sure. Uh, you find a, a pair just kind of on patrol. You can just kind of flag them down. Uh, excuse me, sirs? Afternoon. Uh, sorry to bother you, but uh, would it be too much trouble to ask you to deliver a message for me? If possible. I don't know if it's within your yeah, purview. Uh, and they kind of look, look at each other. We're not exactly couriers, but where is this going to? Uh, well, uh, you know Evander Macrinius, right? Uh, from the Colosseum? Uh, can't say I know him personally. Oh, well. That will, it, it would be going to him, you see. I think there's a courier service somewhere in the city, and up oh. in the Medianus, but... Oh, okay, well, um, if you could point me in that direction, I'd appreciate that. Uh, just I can tip this guy, they'll do it. Okay. Uh, how about if I gave you five gold? This is why you're broke. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Always a bad influence on me. You're both terrible with money. Not well, that Kira can uh, tell. Uh, uh, <laughs> Excuse you, I have the most gold, probably. Hey, <laughs> roll, roll persuasion. Pers persuasion. <laughs> no, well, it wasn't a crit fail, so could have been worse, I guess. He kind of just raises an eyebrow at you, just like, as I said, there's a courier service in the city. Ten gold, come on. Uh, uh, <laughs> that, that's gonna put me in broke bitch territory. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Although, if it's into city travel, you feel like you may be better off just taking it yourself at that point. Well, it's... it's not to get into a personal business, but that's the, just... The, the idea is the delay, you see. That's all. Right. Um, Curry but, uh, service would probably be your best bet, then. Yeah, I, I'll I'll go find them, then. <clears throat> Very well. Uh, uh, sorry for the trouble. Good day, citizen. And, and, I, and I, will head head off. Off. I, I will head off to the Medianus. Okay. Uh, okay, so what, what exactly are you trying to do? Basically, I'm just going to write a letter explaining where I'm going, but without actually okay. telling them, telling my parents directly, because uh, I don't want them, uh, I don't want to risk them trying to talk me out of this. Wow. All right. Okay. Yeah, you do, uh, you do eventually find a courier service, uh, actually not far from Coliseum, in the middle of the forum. A lot of it is uh, a lot of carriages and runners going in and out of the city. Uh, but you, you talk to the clerk, they agree to wait. How long are you wanting them to wait? Uh, okay, to well, we we're leaving at dusk, so maybe having them deliver it in the morning. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's just a simple, like, five silver service charge for that. Oh, easy. Easy, easy, easy. I have one. Cool. Oh, I just realized I have a platinum. I was reading that as a silver. Again, yeah. I assume most places can make change. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. But I, I, I'm less broke than I thought, slightly. Cool. Do I? Okay, but yeah, I'll, I'll hand the five just... silver three uh, fee. And basically, I'm just saying, hey, I'm going here. I'm going to keep an eye on Ganor, make sure he doesn't get himself killed. Uh, on the off chance I don't come back, uh, I love you both. Uh, what a grim goodbye. What? 
Said, what a grim goodbye. I, well, it's just the reality of life, you know? Fair. Dang. All right. Cool. Uh, they'll agree to deliver that to you, or for you. All right, and uh, with that message dropped off, I'm going to make my way back to the boat. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, what are uh, the two of you doing? Are y'all anything else you guys want to do in the city, or are y'all about done too? I think I'm pretty much done. I have 18 cross bolts. I have two potions and some materials. Um, and I'm not a wizard, so I think I'm good. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> wow, rude. Oh, <laughs> and what about you? I'm not smart enough to use all your fancy shit, so, like... <laughs> I can make shiny bubbly potions. That's about it. I could probably help with making the potions during the way. Mm -hmm. right. uh, Elion, anything else you want to do in the city before we head off? Uh, no. He's, I'm going straight to the ship, not pushing my luck. Okay. Uh, in that case, the three of you make your way down to the Gale Trust. It's you guys got aired some pretty fast. It's maybe one or two in the afternoon at this point. Rain's still mm -hmm. kind of coming down on a steady stream as uh, uh, you see you see a dwarf on the ship running around just getting things ready for a soon departure who introduces himself to you all as Captain Brannold. Whoa. I know. Actually, I have pictures of these guys. Are you proud of me? Yeah, I am. I Dude, am. he's so cool. Yeah, he, honestly, yeah. He's got a gun. Yeah. I, I was distracted by his beard. I wish I could have a gun. You probably could, but you might shoot yourself in the foot. I might, yeah. Can I have a gun? No. <laughs> <laughs> if I can't have a gun, no one can. <laughs> I feel gun. like I would be more trustworthy with a gun. He sees you all approach as he's shouting out orders to his crew. Alright, so... Are you all ready to head off then? Yep. Sure. Wonderful. Uh, we still got a few hours for ship off. Uh, we're waiting for the tides to rise. So make yourself comfortable. Welcome to the Gale Trust. Thank you. Uh, I, I look around and see if I can't find Gainor. Uh, make a perception check. Per perception. Where's my sheet? There we go. Perception. Oh, no. Nah, I don't see Noise. Anything. There's a lot of people walking around right now. Hmm. Uh, it's a it's a busy day at the dock home. Can I can I also look for because I see I see Anon looking around for him and I want to see if I can find him too. Uh, sure, make a perception check. Higher than yours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're looking through the thronging crowds of people, and you look for that familiar sight of the dark-haired half-elf with the purple robes and you do not see him either mm. you get the you get the sense that it's probably not quite ready to go yet oh. all right i got this <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah none, none of you uh none of you see him and we all suck <laughs> i mean i wasn't gonna say it but so, how right, about we don't go... have to. <laughs> uh, how about we go below deck on the ship and just chill? Yeah, so I... Let's get out of the rain. No sense in sitting out here. Right, right. Should, uh, should we have gotten the... snacks? I'm sure uh, there'll be food. Uh, I'll I'm take sure it. It... Yeah, we'll have food. It just probably won't be good, but it's food. As long as it's food. Uh, at this point, Alien is actually Alien. He's not. He's not cross-dressing right now. <laughs> no, no sense in hiding gonna, at this point. Because he's living on a ship anyway. And then you find out the secret passenger is Lord Gallus. All right. Ew. I mean, perfect chance to fucking kill him, <laughs> seduce him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Finish the right, job, so. Elliot. So you all head down below deck. It's a cozy interior within the ship, a few torches lit. Uh, you see, this ship is not a, um, it is a passenger ship. There was, there was, a uh, decks for cargo and stuff. It's not the biggest ship you've ever seen, though. You get the sense this is very much more of a, uh, of a charter ship. This is not like a, uh, a government-sanctioned to-and-fro cruise line kind of ship. This is a, you hire us, we'll take you where you need to go. Mm -hmm. It is comfortable enough to accommodate for the pa for the passengers, but it is a ship, so... It's about as comfortable as it can get. And you guys are shown to... There's not really rooms. It's more of just a lot of hammocks lined up in a few of the in, below compartments. You're able to find a place, set your stuff down, kind of pick out a spot. It's not gonna be a I'm going to be on the top hammock. Okay. You do so. Yeah. There's not a lot of passengers on this voyage. It's mostly just going to be you guys and Gaynor. So there'd be some extra room. I still want a top hammock. That's fine. You may have one. Yeah. How do you get up there, though? Oh, wait, no. no never mind. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. That was a silly thing to ask. I am, first of all, a barbarian. Second of all, I have wings. <laughs> yeah. Probably be on this one. But do you want to fly in front of all these sailors? No, I'd probably just jump up there. There you go. All right. You guys head down there. You're able to, you're free to just kind of mill about the ship for a few hours. Eventually, the, through the uh, the darkened clouds, you can see the light getting darker as you imagine the sun beginning to, get, to go down. Mm. And as the, the sailors rush around beginning to prepare for their final set off, you begin to, you see them kind of looking around like, wait, where's the contract? He hasn't shown up yet. God damn it, Gaynor! Mm. And then finally, about ten minutes before you're supposed to raise anchor and set off, you see him finally stepping up the gangplank and boarding the boat. You made it! And he will come down below deck where you guys all are and notice in this one compartment the only open hammock is the... Well, did anyone want to sleep below Kira or what were you guys doing? Um, I, I wouldn't have an issue taking the, the bunk beneath hers. Alright. Woo! <laughs> uh... First one, first serve, Delion. I'll take it. Hack him. <laughs> You're both sleeping on the boat, Loki, right? <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> oh, hold on. I didn't sign off on this. Cuddles! No. No. Are you going to let him take your bed again? No, I've already claimed it. <laughs> He is crawling in the hammock with you. I'm, I'm going to push him out. <laughs> oh, what do you mean you claimed it? I don't see your name. I, I see it right it. now. <laughs> Gainer walks in seeing this bit of a scuffle. Glad to see you all doing comfortable. Uh, oh, hello. Uh, hello, Gainor. You made it. I shove Elliot out. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, well, uh, roll an athletics check, motherfucker. <laughs> alright, alright. Alright. You guys are gonna battle fuck it. You. Oh, oh, fuck oh. you, Elliot. Oh. Ah, just... <laughs> yeah, it's no contest. You just like cartoon fall to the ground and splatter out onto the ground. <laughs> Good job, Aiden. Oh my god. And I'll never do it again. Uh, I'm just glad I'm getting rid of all, all these natural ones before we get yeah, Exactly. <laughs> You've had two already. Gotta waste them on pointless <laughs> shit. And Gano walks in, seeing all that, and just kinda... Right. Walks out. And he's gonna you know, go to the only other open bunk in the area and just kinda set his stuff down as well. <sighs> just kinda collapses onto his... Uh, his hammock. He, he looks exhausted. So, so I have a question. What's up? Does that mean that there are three hammocks and four of us? There's four. Oh. 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 Well, we're... Then why are we we're... fighting over one? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, I, I, I didn't understand why either. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just assumed that there was only three and just jumped on it. I never told you that. <laughs> I thought 
thought you said that there wasn't a whole lot of people, so there's a lot of hammocks, right? I said, yeah, there's plenty of room. <laughs> In this one little area, there's like four that are kind of grouped together. <laughs> but there's a lot of hammocks that are going to be unfilled in this voyage. So, Elyon's on the floor for no reason. <laughs> exactly. Sounds about right. <laughs> Alright. Now, as you guys are having this bit of a scuffle, you hear the captain's voice bellowing from up deck. Like, Alright, crew! We're setting off now! Us preparations, and let's go! And you will begin to feel a lurch as the ship's anchor raises, and sails unfurl as the sun goes down and sinks below the horizon the gale trust begins to make its way off into the southern seas oh. you sail off into the night it's a bit of a bit of a rough start with the ocean it's it's been a pretty constant rainfall so the water's a little bit rough you're rocking back and forth a bit it's okay. gonna take you guys a little while to get your sea legs can i can i roll for seasickness roll a constitution save me too please Okay. Alright, let's get this net one out of my system. Constitution. Ooh. Okay. Alright. Plus, plus six, by the way. <laughs> so, yep. low DC to start. Okay. So, it's a low DC to start. Uh, and you're feeling, uh, this, is, this is weird for you. You're feeling a little bit queasy, but you managed to hold it in. Elyon, you've been dancing all your life. This just feels like you're on a permanent dance floor. Definitely uncomfortable, but you managed to pull it off. Kira, you're as optimistic and as happy as ever. It's like, oh yeah, this is fine. Nothing's ever going <laughs> to... <laughs> and you sprint off to the side of the ship as you leave the harbor of Ostia. I've probably never been on a boat before. <laughs> I would say that's a very safe bet. Mm -hmm. So we say goodbye to Ostia and hello to the Gale Trust. We have a boat? Oh, we're going to fight here. We're yep. going to be attacked. Oh, Patreon. Uh, I, I can't tell the name of that Patreon. Uh, DWW? Yeah, being a smart ass will get you killed. All right, so. Let's see. We're going to say we have. You guys don't have to put yourself on there right now. This is just for setting. But we're going to put the captains back here. And you see Vargas up by the front with his hands outstretched as he mutters an incantation as the ship begins to make its way through the seas. This map feels mm. really familiar. What? This map feels really familiar. Hmm. I haven't used I, it before. Well, no, you have. I, I think Boop may have. Like when we when we fought those uh, Aracocra slavers. Oh shit! Was it the same map? It looks familiar. Hmm. I don't know if it was the same map, but it does, hmm. maybe. I feel uh, like that well, one was horizontal. Well, yeah, you could also just rotate this by a quarter. <laughs> you know? uh, I mean, how different would a ship uh, would be? Dan, also, anyway. that's a good point too. Yeah. <clears throat> Not important. Yeah. So you guys set off. The sun sets on the first night. And the captain informs you, you have a three-day journey to the island of Brixelin. Brixelin. Oh three so, days on the ocean. You guys all eventually find yourselves rocked to sleep by the not-so-gentle rocking of the boat as the crew works around you. This is the crew's not going to make you work on this. They're they're a fully paid crew. They they got this. Unless something mm -hmm. horrible happens to them. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> sure. Cast fireball. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, the sun. Eventually, you're all wakened by the gentle sight of the sun breaching through the clouds as it rises in the in the morning. It's a beautiful sight. The sun rises over the waves, and the the it rain's still falling gently, but it's now illuminated by the dawn light. So, day one. He wants to roll me a d6. Mm -hmm. I don't trust myself at this point. I got this. Okay. Do it! Cool. Alright. So. Hmm, 
How do we want to do this? Oh no. Concern. <laughs> oh no. Concern. Actually, I, I take back what I said. Go ahead and put your, put yourselves on the boat somewhere. Oh, there we go. There it just, is. Just just for my own personal reference, because this there will be like some NPC interactions and whatnot. I don't believe In, you. NPC interactions, huh? Yeah. Hmm. So, uh, the ship goes on. The day goes on. Eventually, the clouds begin to clear, and for the first time in a few, you see the sun and the bright blue sky. Ignoring the fact that this map has rain on it. This is so Ooh. odd. I'm, I'm casting your image. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Meta gaming gets you killed, Ollie. <laughs> Rocks also, will it, fall. Also, it only lasts for a minute. I'm kidding. Go on. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Uh, okay. So while you guys are traveling, uh, does someone. One of you roll me a perception check, real quick. Oh, shit. Uh, might as well be A and he has the better plus shoe. <laughs> True. Uh, theoretically. All right, let's go. Perce I believe. Wait, 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 wait. Perception. There we go. Oh. All right. Dun, ba -dun, ba -dun, nice. Ba I have too many sheets open. Give me one moment. Oh, no. Just, no, it's just, that, that's not meant to be, um, that's just my own organizational skills coming to bite me in the butt. It happens. Cool. Okay. Cool. So as you are uh, trudging along, uh, Anid, you see a uh, in the distance. You see uh, as in the bright blue sky of the uh, late morning. You see a, a shape on the horizon off to the. Uh, so you're traveling south. So this be like south southwest of you. Hmm. And as it approaches, as you get closer, you realize that's a that's a large rock in the distance. Not not in your path. Like that's a a, a bit of the ways out of the way. Like Titanic. <laughs> probably a half a mile, maybe even more. Like out of your way. But it's like the only feature you've seen the past uh, several hours. So it's like, oh, cool, look a thing. Nice. Mm -hmm. Sirens. As you travel, mm. you travel on for a little bit longer. <laughs> mm. uh, just kind of milling about, uh, Vargas, uh, in between casting his rituals at the front of the boat, is um, you see him occasionally sitting down and pouring what appears to be some kind of dust into those clay vials you saw, and muttering a different incantation over those as well. You gather he's making your holy water for you. Mm -hmm. Speaking of making that. things, can I work on my potions? Yeah. Um... We'll say this is about, we'll call this 11.30 and say you woke up at about dawn. So how many, do you want to just spend all that time making the potion? Pretty much. So let's say, let's say that's six hours worth for the first potion. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> and as you're sailing along, having a nice little drink, you suddenly feel the boat lurch. Mm -hmm. As the captain mid-conversation was something, suddenly, suddenly boat keels hard to one side not enough to throw anyone off of course but like there's some jostling going on in sudden change of direction the uh, boat kind of heaves under it uh, captain as you look up the boat's not heading towards that rock uh mm -hmm. that's not good and as you turn around you see suddenly you see, the captain's still at the wheel. Uh, the captain likes to do his own helming on this ship. <laughs> As to Shelby. Edward Uh, And you see the captain, he's there, just kind of steering the ship. Standing behind him is an absolutely gorgeous woman that you haven't seen yet. <gasps> no! Just kind of has her hands on his shoulders, seemingly bending down and whispering into his ear. No. Was uh, I right? The captain appears to be in a trance of some kind. Ah! So that means I was right, right? King what are you guys doing? Question mark. Well, as, as, uh, as you notice this, you hear a 
a loud whoosh, a, a sudden motion. And suddenly appearing at the center of the ship right here, you see two more uh, see two more figures, two more women, both beautiful and and clothed, but like gen gentle robes covering them as one with one very, very tall. Like a human, but almost as tall as a Goliath. Uh oh. And she oh, looks sassy at, lady. And she looks around at all of you. Well, oh. hello there. Oh, uh, Jesus. Hello. Yeah. I, uh, I assume this is... Well, I assume the ship belongs to the man behind the wheel, is that correct? Uh, it, yes. Most Wonderful. likely. I think at so. This, at this point, much of the crew has come out to see what's going on, and they're all kind of... There's just this look of, oh shit, in their face. As they look at, at the woman on the ship. We've come here to make a very simple deal with you. We require a few of, uh... A few of your services, if you don't mind. Ooh. As you can see, there are three of us. Oh, Just, she gestures to herself and the one, and the other one behind the captain. We, we would each like to take uh, an individual of yours from the ship for our own purposes. Uh, what are these purposes? We don't want to know. I want to know. No. Uh, I, I'm very interested in knowing. No! <laughs> not concerned, but I'm sure we could find something for you, wizard. Uh, no, you no, well, no, no, not, no, no, um, uh... The alternative is this. May you either give us the three required souls that we need, or your ship will crash into that rock over there, and you will all drown in the ocean. Oh, you, you, you need souls. Oh, shit. Not exactly the right. services you were thinking of, were you? I mean, so, yeah. <laughs> who would like to volunteer to save all of your friends right now? And you see Fred. a lot of the, the crew begins to start panicking, and one guy even, like, pushes someone forward and then steps back. Like, take him. Oh, my God. Um, friends is a strong word, but, um... Uh, oh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, mostly talking to the random pirate. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait! Aiden doesn't um, realize this. He's kind of hurt. Oh, um, Sierra. Um, may I ask who who you three are exactly? All I will say is you are running out of time. No, 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 please. Uh, you, you already have everything under control. There's no need to rush, right? Oh, we had no rush. But she looks, up, she looks <laughs> over and you see the rock is rapidly approaching. Um, how about you... you do you clear us from the rock? I I'm sure there will be another one to blackmail us with. Yes, uh, Gainer would be out here too. Now I think about it. Boom. Can I can I make an Arcana check really quick? Um, sure. I, I want to see how that uh, the siren touching the captain is controlling him. It if I had <laughs> if I had literally one more level, I would have a music that dispels this kind of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, Cole! Give us a level. <laughs> um, it, it does appear you gather that this is indeed a charm effect, but it's different than what you'd expect. Hmm. Normally, sirens don't need to be so up close for for this to work. You gather this is not a siren. Mm. Oh. What is it? You don't know. We don't oh. know. How, um, would I, how would I find out? Is that a nature check? I'm doing check? one. Make, oh. a, make this a nature check, I guess. I'm okay with that. Damn, I'm great at that. Damn. Woo! Okay. Okay. National 20 here. <laughs> you recall the fact that they just suddenly swooped up from out of nowhere. You did hear the sounds of what sounded like wings and feathers, though you don't see anything at the moment. <gasps> Harpy. Harpies! This is, this is something new to you. You've never seen one look like this. The tall one in the middle seems to have some kind of magical essence to her. But there is nothing else these could be than harpies. Hmm. And um, you know, there is no reasoning with harpies. So. Do I have permission to do something dumb? Absolutely. Uh, Always. At all times. Alright. Excellent. 
I want to charge at the captain and try and shove the harpy away. Damn, I was trying to use my bar powers there before we we started going wild. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. So, make an athletics check then. We'll say this is your surprise. Athletic. All right, and she's going to do one of these. Damn. Okay. Ah. You run up and you manage to push the the woman that has her hands on the cap up and an unhuman screech comes from her throat as you shove your tiny fairy hands into her and she goes tumbling over the backside the backside of the boat ship yeah hell yeah and you're <laughs> you hear right. the sound of wings flapping and the the tall one over here over looks here. at you and smiles with these you see long, pointed teeth as she smiles. That was the wrong choice, dear. Another um, one! And as uh, their form begins to fall away, and you see tall, slender, feather-covered people. Uh, one, we got one over here. And one over here. Alright. That starts combat. Let's roll some initiative. Cool, eh? and it's right next to them. <laughs> awesome. Yep. It. Is the captain out of his trance? That's a good oh place. my god. Because I kind of wanted him to be able to steer the ship away from the rock. Um, with Michael. Um, or I was going to hold on steer the wheel. Uh. Okay. At the moment, yes, he is still charmed. He's still charmed, even though she can't touch him? At the moment, yes. Hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Now it's my turn. I do have a really quick question. What's up? As the surprise action, would that be one? Like, okay. could I have shoved her and then spun the wheel? Yeah, uh, that would probably true. be another action to take control of the yeah. ship. Mm -hmm. But uh, like technically, Aeon it could good. afterwards. Holy but, shit! Uh, God damn! This is gonna be exciting. Oh, so you spelled matriarch wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it can't. Wait. Okay, no, that was, yeah, <laughs> whatever. It's fine. Ah. Uh, all right, Kira, you need to have a, a flying battle against the harpy. It's going to be so cool. All right. It's just a dragon ball fight. <laughs> is Gaynor going to help? Oh, yeah, he is. He rolled a fight. Right. Oh. He rolled worse than I did. Man, that's right. impressive, uh, buddy. Before... How about this? That is impressive. Oh, my God, what's going on here? What is going on here? Okay, we're good. I'm going to get shredded. Uh, that's what's happening. Yeah. Nope. Um... Cool. With that in mind, before we start this fight, let's go and take a short break. That sounds like a good mm. idea. Uh, I think I might make some popcorn, actually. Oh my so. god, that's genius. I should make popcorn. That, that's not a bad idea. I might do that, too. Ooh. Popcorn, right, popcorn girl! Right. B R B.
Hello. Is anyone else here? Cool. This is my stream now. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of uh, this game. I am your host, me. We're here to watch the harpies kill some people. It is going to be great. Hello, is anyone back? Hello, hello, hello. Hi, hi. Is it, is it just us? I think so, no. yeah. Oh, hey. Oh, my God. Oh, it is me. Speak of the devil. Thank you. I have popcorn and more Pedialyte. I got a different flavor this time. I got fuzzies. Nice. I know. I got popcorn. I got apple cider. That sounds good. Mm. The strawberry PG light is arguably much better than the kiwi. Oh. Yo. Hello. Okay, I gotta ask who drew the snake. I don't know, but I love it. I really like it. It's my snake. Oh, wonderful. It's precious. I love it. Yep. Yeah, it's licking B. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Mm. Like, I have to make an a uncomfortable face for on B, but I, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Jesus. Mm. Also, Cole, confirmation it was indeed kettle corn that I had bought. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see. Cool. By the way, Ed, hear this? Hear this? Yeah. Cracking open a cold one. With the blue. Nice. Ooh. All right. So, got this fight started off. Uh, first, we're going to. No, there's snake. All right, all right, so what are we gonna do after Mark dies? <laughs> all right, so <laughs> as the fight starts, you see uh, Vargas over here at the front looks back and sees what's going on. Uh, and as soon as he steps away, you see the harpy shoot a glare at him as the round begin to get rough again. <sighs> so shit, he puts his hands back out, begins chanting again. The water seems to calm. He does, does not appear he's going to be able to participate in this fight, fortunately. Mm -hmm. So. The matriarch is going first. 
What are you going to do, Matriarch? Cool. All right. As, uh, as the fight, this fight begins, Kira has just shoved off a harpy off the back of the boat. This matriarch begins to sing. And a visage, a visage appears in each of your minds. I'm fucked. What? Uh -huh. I'm absolutely, unquestionably fucked. Uh, yep. I, I'm, I'm putting in appropriate music for this, don't mind me. If it's... <laughs> oh, perfect. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were gonna, it was going to do, like, like Caleb Whisper or something, but it's no. better. It's Garuda. No, this I is, recognize this, this one. This is much more appropriate. I'm fine with this. All right. And she begins to sing. And I need each of you to make oh, a fuck. wisdom saving throw. No. Oh, fuck. We all fucked up that. that. I know. Ah, I'm proficient, <laughs> you fool. Okay. Woo! Okay. I, was, I was half hoping I'd fail that one. <laughs> Alien, Alien would be the one to fail. <laughs> All right, so, Aenid, mm -hmm. uh, a vision be begins to come to your mind, and you feel yourself begin to lull into a sense of comfort, but you blink and you shake it off, realizing this isn't real. You know what a harpy is. You know this isn't anything good. Okay. You shake it off, and you pass. Yay. Uh, Kira. Get off. Uh huh. As you're standing at the edge of the boat, ready to fight this uh, this other harpy that is now slowly beginning to emerge, a visitor suddenly, the harpy in front of you doesn't look like a harpy. It looks like Solara. No. In your mind, you're back home in the Natora Vale, sitting under the trees, picking mushrooms with her. You're peaceful and you're happy. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, well, okay, so, it, uh, I'm going to rules lawyer myself on this. Um, since you shoved her, I'm going to say you weren't technically holding anything, so that's nice. However, uh, you are paralyzed. Um. Elyon. Oh, I should do that. I should use for gainer, too. You should do, like, a, a little marker so I remember. How long am I paralyzed for? Thirteen. Okay. Gaynor is also paralyzed. So boom. And boom. Elyon. Let it be known. Poop is calling you a coward. Yeah, huh? I saw I see that and I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm aware. This is not a charm effect. This is simply a paralyzed. You, do you guys want here? Boom. You happy now? I I was fine. I uh -huh. was okay. Alien was a zombie all along. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you're, the swords you're holding drop to the ground as you're filled with the visage of your the remembrances of your circus, of your friends, of your home up in the in the mountainous city time before you ever had to kill to survive to kill to protect your friends you two are paralyzed bum well, you never mentioned that specific NPC what the heck we're saving that for when the reveal comes <laughs> alright that's that. That's matriarch's turn this harpy is going to now, I'm going to look something up but I, I believe Paralysis is not a good thing. Advantage attacks uh, in, in, in attacks against you. Correct. And any melee attack is a crit. Cool. Oof. So, this harpy is going to let's see. Yeah, she's close to the gainer. She's going to fly over to Gainor, and she's oh, going God. to my my meet you. <laughs> Oh, Gaynor does not have a good AC. This is going to be interesting. All right. Claw with advantage. It's going to ah. hit. So what is that? That's 13 to him. Oh, my God. Uh, 
And then she, with her other hand, she's going to swing out with the crude club. That will also hit. Bonk. For five damage. Okay. And that's that harpy's turn. This harpy. It flies up, angry that it just got shoved off by the barbarian. And is going to dive down at her. And as you notice, since you're the only one that's still, you know, a lot uh, conscious, so to Alive. speak, moment, mm -hmm. as the har harpy dives down towards Kira, the captain wakes up from his stupor. As she, it is a continuous action to keep the charm up. Mm -hmm. She's not having the moment. Interesting. Uh, oh, yeah. Is whole person a paralyzed state too? Uh, it is, and. I don't think I've been doing that properly in the past, so I'm going to try to be doing that from now on. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm just thinking how this spell is actually fucking broken. <laughs> yeah, no, it's ridiculous. Actually, yeah, I, no, I think I think I was. I'm trying to remember if I if I had you guys doing crits against talent. I'm pretty sure I did. I don't. I don't maybe I didn't, but it doesn't matter because you guys destroyed my. Yeah, I, I, okay. I don't think I don't think you did, but it hardly matters. All right, do so Kira, do you ever wonder if they actually uh -huh. play test this game? No. <laughs> First attack, she's going to claw against you. Does a 20 hit. Yeah. So that is... I'm just doubling the dice on this. So that is... So that's a 9 damage to you. Okay. And then she's going to swipe out at you with a club as well. Does a 21 hit. Uh-huh. Okay, that is... Uh, five damage to you. Wow, they're rolling really bad on the clubs. And that is its turn. Uh, all right, now we're to Elyon. Uh, uh, you are paralyzed. Like, like I, I found Reddit posts of people saying, "Yo, whole person sucks." So I was like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> if if you're in a group fight, probably if it's a if it's against one boss, then yeah. Okay, you are paralyzed until the end of your turn. Your turn ends. You are no longer paralyzed. Wonderful. Ain't it? You're up. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Does that... If, if I if I cast Lightning Bolt... Yeah. No, that doesn't that doesn't touch touch that tile, so I don't think... Well, that, that wouldn't count, right? Can you link fire, uh, Lightning Bolt for me real quick? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, that doesn't hit his tile, so that that would not hit him. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna fire bolt or lightning bolt both of them. Okay. Was that a dexterity save? Cool. Uh, mm -hmm. Cool, cool, cool. And oh, she's three. good at dexterity saves. That's fun. Is it a uh, half on a success? Uh, correct. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Okay. She doesn't save. Awesome. And. She does save. Cool. So the big, the tall matriarch takes the full 28. That's oh, a lot of damage. Jesus. Nice. That is not what I meant to do. <laughs> I accidentally sub sub I fat fingered and instead of subtracting 200, or 28, I subtracted 283. <laughs> so she ceased to exist for a moment. <laughs> and she gets halved, so that's uh, 14 to her. Pretty good damage, though. Pretty good. A loud oh, crack yeah. of thunder rings out through the clear day. As a, oh, and that's the first thing you hear as you come to consciousness is a deafening crack only like 10 feet next to you. Ow. Uh, that is. You uh, still have a move in bonus action. And I'm gonna r run, run over here. <laughs> okay. You do that. that. And it just kind of steps on the blades I dropped. <laughs> oh, whoops. Uh, 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 sorry. All uh, right, Kira. Oh. You are no longer paralyzed, and that's the end of your turn. Woo! Gaynor. No longer paralyzed, that's the end of his turn. Top of the round. Captain's no longer charmed. He's like, what the bloody hell is going... <gasps> and there's a... Yep. Let's have fun with us. Plug your gun, my man. Okay. He, uh, I don't have a statue for the captain. He's just a dude. He's just a uh, dude. He is, willing, he is, however, able to overcome his fear, and despite the harpy being right on top of him, he's able to re 
wheel, grab it, and turn it, and yank the ship out of the, the core. Oh, yeah. All right. Big lady's turn. As we are at the top of the round. Oh, shit. Um... Oh, I. This is what I get for not reading. Uh, reading character. She has advantage on uh, saving throws, so I'm gonna have her roll that again. Okay. Sorry, Mark. Oh. Oh man. <laughs> hey, now that was shield aid. What the heck? Yeah, Cole. Yeah. Sucks to suck, doesn't it? Um, Cole, <laughs> let me my have my twenty eight. <laughs> Cole. Should I just fire up all, man? It was such a good I... roll too. Yeah. Hey, that that still did a good chunk of damage to her. Picking 14. Huh. Here it does 14, you want to attack. <laughs> no, no um, it's, it's multiplicative. I did 28 damage to one attack. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Come on, Ollie. This is how AoEs work. All right. Uh, you did do a lot of damage to her. She doesn't like that. Uh oh. Giant black wing is going She's going to fly over to the two of you. Uh, if I was another type of bard, I could give her disadvantage, but good luck, man. Uh, one attack is going to be against you, Aenid. That's a hit. Oh, fuck. And one against you, Elyon. Nope. Okay. And that's her turn. That half health me right there. Holy shit. Aeon, right. are you good? No. <laughs> uh, this harpy's going to take another swipe at Gainor. Two swipes at Gainor, actually. Okay. Cool. Claws swipe out again, or as he comes back to consciousness, but he's already looking fairly beat up, but is able to dodge out of the club just in time. <laughs> this one. Gainor, no! Uh, this harpy is going to begin to sing. No. No. Kira, Kira just says no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what kind of babble is she screeching? Wow. Uh, so, I need everybody to make a wisdom saving throw again. Oh, crap! Oh, it's gonna be one of those fights. Okay. He's abusing our lack of wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, Ganner needs to make one too. Again. Fingers crossed! Good at these. No! So, right, yet, yet again, Aenid is the only one that saves. God damn it. Damn it. Mark, Mark, this fight is all you. You got this. I'm absolutely fucked. Mm-hmm. Uh... Okay, cool. That's better, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna do a... Uh... Bam. Bam. Oh, bam. Actually. Hey, is that a paralyze or a sleep? This is a charm. Oh, crap. Yeah. Actually, this guy's charmed again, too. No, Captain! Cool. Alright. Uh, Elyon, you feel the need to start making your way toward be over here. I. So you move uh, 30 feet towards it. And you may repeat the... You may make a wisdom saving throw yet again. <laughs> it's a DC of... Uh, okay. DC of what? We're gonna uh, be here uh, for a uh, while. Tell me the tell me DC. Maybe I got it. 11. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, All right, Aiden, you're up. Uh. Yeah, I'm super fucked. Fireball at your feet. Oh, but the ship is made of wood, though. Burn it all down. <laughs> Wait a minute. Die. Might as well take them. Hold on. Aha! 
Oh my god. <laughs> Skull, you fool! Right. I'm going to- I feel to... like I'm playing chess with this guy. I, I'm going to take one step to the left. To my left. And I'm gonna cast Gosh. Thunder Lightning Bolt again! Uh, are you sure you're the one on Mage Armor, though? Man, that's not gonna do shit here. Alright. Plus, <laughs> All plus right. whatever, how much it is. Plus three, basically. I'm, I'm fucked. I, I need to accept that fate, and I'm going to do as much damage as I can. Do it. So, yes, I, I will cast Lightning Bolt once again. Alright. And she does have advantage, so I'm going to remember that this time. Mm -hmm. But only her, not the other ones. Uh, so go ahead and roll it. Ooh. Oh, that was bad. A, that was a bad roll. That's a terrible Lightning Bolt roll. Holy shit. I guess so she makes it. And... Fuck! Hey, that's still... That's really good damage. Holy shit, Still. 10 damage these, for these third things, level spell, these, dude. These don't have that much health. <laughs> and this the one by Gainor is not looking good at all. Someone who also doesn't have a lot of health is Aeon, though. Mm -hmm. That's true. Well, she rolled uh, really Kira. poorly. I'm, I'm yes. absolutely dead. Uh... You should have moved. She, he would have gotten an opportunity. Oh. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm man. fucked no matter what I do. So I'm gonna go out in Blaze of Glory. Excellent. Uh, but I was gonna push her away if I had a turn, but that didn't happen. <laughs> okay. Do I make um, a save, or...? Uh... Yeah, well, you can't move closer to it, so yeah, go ahead and make a save. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Alright. It's Gaynor's turn. Uh, he's gonna move closer too. Dude. Strange enough, this harpy will not swing out at him. Hmm. Now he'll make a save. My god. Okay, is this harpy's turn? Maybe we rest in pieces. <laughs> Maybe the wisdom fight was a bad idea for this party. You're fine. <laughs> mm, are you sure about that, Cole? Okay. Seeing uh, seeing her one uh, child beginning to get uh, in pain, the other one singing out. This one's going to also sing as sing as well. Oh no! But funnily enough, ain't it? The song has no effect on you. Hmm. Because you've already saved against it. Oh, cool. I was gonna say, wait, is he not human? Da 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 da. -da. Wait a minute. Wait what? What? Kira's not a humanoid. She's a fae. God damn it. Oh, I'm not! I wanna refund. Wait! D&D, <laughs> look, D&D classifications are bullshit. No, that's that's a feature of the classes. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. is it? Oh, they can't- Oh, yeah. they can't be race. fucking that's, charmed. That's an, that's an actual fe- No, she's just- she's not a humanoid. This spell only targets humanoids and giants. She's not a humanoid. She's a fae. So yeah, I, I maintain that. That's, that's so, silly. Kira, you suddenly remember you're immune to this stuff. That's right. <laughs> that's okay. so exciting. She just forgot that she can't be charmed. <laughs> oh right, I'm immune to this. The song, the song just reminded her of better times. I'm gonna say as a. That's an apology for my mix-up. Uh, you can slash out angrily for your two attacks here. Excellent. I went to rage and slash out. Okay. Uh, roll your d8 first. Roll one d8. Five. What do I got? Hell yeah! Alright. Alright, good deal. Mm-hmm. Alright. Now I'm going to attack her. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now nah, we're gonna just do this. That'll hit. All right. Noise. Take that. Then I will attack again. Okay, attack again. That will hit. Oh, nice. wait, really? I'm gonna roll yeah, both hit. of them. Wow. All right. They have no AC. 
Just thanks for lucky that I'm stunned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, harpies are swishing, dude. That was the matriarch's turn. Um, uh, hacking bird bones. They're actually, like uh, homeboy over here is gonna have to make a save against that one. That was closer to him. Come on, you're good at these. All right. Tide, Tide Sage Vargas is charmed. Fuck. Alright, it's these two's turn. <clears throat> Excuse me. She's going to... Elyon's the closest. She's going to fly out and take a swipe at, El at take some swipes at Elyon. Oh my god, there's a kernel stuck in my throat. <laughs> Um, bam. Ow. And bam. No. Cool. It is this Arby's turn. Uh, she is going to... Uh, take a bonus action to continue singing as she takes her attacks at you, Kira. Bring it on, bitch! No. Okay. She's no. not useless. Elyon. <laughs> you find yourself unable to resist the allure. You approach yet again. This time the harpy will take some attacks at you as she's already decided she to attack you. But it will not matter. You make a saving throw yet again. I do that. You do. Nice. And nice. you suddenly realize, oh my god, I'm right next to a different harpy. <laughs> Wait a second. This, this harpy is not big mommy like the other one. <laughs> <laughs> and a drop. Hmm. 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 Um. I'm gonna cast Shatter. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do it. <clears throat> uh. Yeah, I'm going to do it right at this point, right here. Uh, link it for me again real quick. It's going to be a con save. 10 foot radius? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're only going to hit the one. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, con save. Cool. And Let's do that. Shatter at level two. Bingo, bango. Okay. She, she again has advantage, but she's not very good at con saves. Nice. Oh, I could. I look for, completely forgot. I could actually just click to roll these at advantage. I'm an, I'm an idiot. No, that one doesn't count. That was just me showing that I am in fact an idiot. Not that would have mattered. She still yeah. doesn't make it. Cool. Cool. And it's fucking nettled. Okay. Is that your turn? Mm-hmm. Okay. Kira, you're up. Alrighty. This harpy is going down. I'm going to recklessly attack. Do it. That'll hit. Nice. I'm going to re-roll that one. Nice. Uh, Cool. She's dead. Cool. <laughs> Excellent. Now I'm going to run over. Can I reach this other one? Hell uh, yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. <clears throat> run over to this one. Pretty much like leaping and bounding off the things that are in my way. And I'm going to use my second attack recklessly and attack that one. That'll hit. Oh, not for much. Nope. Alright. Sword cleaves into this one. And she's not looking too hot. And Gainor. Uh, oh! Right, the RP's dead, so no more charm on this guy. Bomp. Isn't there no charm on anybody here? Uh, not on these two. Uh, -huh. uh, Vargas is still charmed by the big lady, though. Yeah. Gaynor snaps out of it, realizing twice now that these harpies have gotten into his mind. He's not happy. He looks over, he sees the scrawny harpy that Kira's fighting, realizes, oh, I think she's got this. And he sees his childhood friend getting harried wow. upon by a, by a giant... Uh, horrifying looking harpy. Oh. Besides, he's not going to have any of that. 
What's your movement speed gainer? 30? Cool. That's what I expected. Gotta protect your boo. He's gonna come come over here, running over. Hey, dude, hold on! And he's gonna stick his hand out and begin muttering an incantation. And... Uh, over on... Let's see. A few feet in front of him, right over here, a, a gentle mist will form. And you'll see something stretching out. What can only be described as a long, ghostly, spiked and jagged tentacle. Wow. Begins to emerge from the fog right here. Uh -huh. And we'll make an attack against uh, the harpy. If you would. Ooh. That'll hit. Not much damage. Damage is damage. And he's holding that with his right hand. With his left, he coalesces a... Uh, you see dark green energy begin to coalesce into his hand. And I'm going to make sure this is right. Cool, okay. And a dark verdant green energy will blast out towards the harpy as well. Ooh! Damn! Thanks. And that is everything. Cool. Top of the round. Matriarch's pissed. She has been harried upon all sides. You've just done so much magic damage to her. Plain little creature. And she's going to claw out at you, Aenid. And that's a miss. She's going to claw at you again, Aenid. Uh, that's a hit. <laughs> I'm, I'm down. No! That was Ooh. just enough. But... I'm gonna make a. It's a tentacle. Cool. <laughs> and she's going to move her way over here. Your next magic boy. That's her turn. This one. Uh, desperate is gonna claw at you, Kira. Do it. It's starting to not look in her favor. That means it. Mm. Okay. So bam, and bam. So mm -hmm. that is three and then three. So six damage total. And True. My roll, that, roll it. Yeah. What is it? Um roll one D six. Mm. <laughs> Alright. And she so... hit me twice, right? So that would uh, yeah, so as her claws sink into you, you feel the, the blood begin to pour out, and Aina, you, well, <laughs> Elyon, you watch as, uh, <laughs> Poor as, single, as the claw digs into Kira's side, it almost seems like her blood ignites and shoots a burst of light up into the harpy itself, and she falls back screaming as the feathers are burned away from her skin. Bomb. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're up. <laughs> Ollie. Elian's not here. Ollie! I didn't mean, hear, yeah, but I was muted at and I forgot. Ollie. Oh, it looks like the shoe's on the other foot now, Ollie. <laughs> do I have my blades with me, or do, were they should drop there? Uh, you would you probably would have picked them up in your uh, brief time of clarity. Hide. I'm gonna run here. Gonna see my friend really fucked up there, and I'm just gonna. Actually, should I not heal? Her? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be fine. Ah, he's probably. not him. Ah, he's up next, so healing ward on him. Okay. At at third level, I'm I'm oh. generous. Oh, thank you. Dang. <laughs> Ooh, that selfless healer is selfless. That's just about half my health right there. <laughs> All right, and did you wake up with a soothing song from? Hey, yo, get up! <laughs> what? Oh, fuck. <laughs> My head hurts. Uh, and there's my bonus action. I'm gonna inspire. Let's inspire A and Ed. Why not? Okay. Yay! And did you feel inspired that you are now alive again? 
I don't, not even sure you have a spell to use inspiration, but <laughs> no, I, I have attack rolls. I can think. I can think of one. Yeah. Yeah, firebolt. I guess my bread and butter. And it's your turn. Well, I'd like to uh, stand back up. Okay, that's half your movement. You're up. And I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to cast firebolt. Okay, cast it. At least, at least at a higher level, man. I I can't. <laughs> What the hell? It's Firebolt. It's a cantrip. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Uh, and it's a, it's a plus D8 for inspiration, right? Is that your inspiration die, Ollie? Yeah. No, it's 1D8. Yeah. 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 All right. Let's see if that hits. <laughs> um. Yeah, that'll hit. Cool. And let's get that up. Oh, 10. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> a nine and a one. Come on. Perfect, perfect average. <laughs> Perfectly balanced as all things should be. Is that your turn? Um, yeah, that'll that'll be my turn. Actually, no, no, I lied. I lied. I'm gonna I'm gonna run over here. <laughs> maybe maybe I should yeah. I should have inspired cure. <laughs> you you are now next to Vargas, who's standing there in a daze as the water begins to kick up around him yet again. Uh, Kira, you're up. Who's ready to kill a harpy? Boop. Alrighty. I'm going to recklessly attack her. That'll hit. We're gonna roll that one again. Okay. And then I'm going to recklessly attack again. Oh. That will not hit. Give it. Alright. Gainor's turn. What are you gonna do, Gaynor? What will he do? Uh, he is going to. He's going to use a spell slot, and give himself some, uh, some armor. Cool. Boom. And. Matriarch's turn. Actually, no. As a bonus, as a bonus action, he's going to move the tentacle down here and attack again, because that's what he can do. And that will not hit. Matriarch's turn. She is going to swipe out at the boy. Not the boy. That will not hit. That will hit. Ah! Wait, it will? Yep. I thought you the said boy's he got a low armor. AC. How low is his armor or AC? Eleven. <laughs> ah! <laughs> How bad is it normally? Holy shit! It's tan normally. Uh, <laughs> is is Dex his dump stat? Okay, so, uh, <laughs> as you'll see, as the claws dig into him, a burst of ice will explode out from him. That oh, you what's that? Cards of ice will <laughs> dig into the uh, into the harpy, but unfortunately, the extra protection was not enough. No. Oh shit. Wait. Uh, oh. Wait, is he downed or is he dead? He's down. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. God, that'd be a terrible start to this expedition. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even make it to the island. He just died on the boat. <laughs> Jesus. Oh shit, uh, Aonid, you, you, your friend fell. Your friend fell? <laughs> he just falls off the boat, you toss him off the online. Uh, no, uh, uh, excuse me? Excuse me? I walk over. <laughs> Alright. Finally, I'll get to stab in this fight. <laughs> you made Come it. On, stab. Yes. That'll hit. We play flourish. Why is it so <laughs> slow? How do you want to do this, Elyon? Uh, he's just gonna step over at uh, uh, Gaynor, I think. And he's just gonna do a quick jump, pull out his sword, and decapitate the bird lady with a cool jump because she's tall. <laughs> okay. She screeches out in anger as the blade comes to her throat, and then she just <laughs> collapses onto the ground. Alright. Good job, everybody. I didn't get my wing fight. Like my, my mid-air fight. 
because you time. got you got stunned forever. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, uh, and it's gonna sprint back over here. Okay. Uh, I, I'll just heal him. Don't worry. Uh, I'll cast spare the dying. Uh, th that's really no need to. I, uh... <laughs> I cast spare the dying. <laughs> There's also no reason not to. It is a cantrip. Mm hmm. Mm, there is that. Uh, speaking of. I learned, I learned the cleric cantrip. I'm gonna use the fucking cleric cantrip. There you go. Speaking of magic, I, I and it, Alien says as they cast them, I can cure wounds at third level. My god. Medic, medic Alien coming in clutch. I'm not adding Blade Flirt to that. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm dancing while I do it. That's a little twirl. <laughs> it's, but it's 25. It's like his whole health, I'm guessing. <laughs> Pretty close. Don't warlocks have a D8? Yeah, uh... I, right. I thought your friend was a wizard like you, but... It, well, but That's what I thought. I thought but so. I know, uh, I know an Eldritch Blast when I see one. You see uh, Gaynor wakes up, laying on the ground, staring up in the sky. Uh, <sighs> Let's see, Alia. Thanks for that. And it looks very stern right now. He is, he is not pleased with what he just saw. He notices. Gainor, I'm... Well, you didn't get to do. Magic didn't get to do it yourself. Gainor, what the hell was that? Summoning tentacles, eldritch blasts. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were a warlock. <laughs> what do you care? You're welcome, by the way. He's he's gonna try to walk away. I feel like I should be the one saying that, but he did thank me, so I was up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, I just go out of his way. <laughs> he he seems a little annoyed that that's the first thing you say to him as he get as he comes back to consciousness, and he's gonna just disappear below deck. Well, nothing wrong with a little pact with a. a Professional being Some from time unknown to time. ancient being of the ocean. Who knows? Not like we made a promise to learn magic. Oh. Well. He has the audacity to give me shit for leaving him behind. Son of a... And it's well, just... He's gonna storm off uh, to the front of the ship. Okay. And Vargas is up there clearing his head as he finishes up the ritual of the first holy water. Kira, now, as, that, um... now that's some spicy drama. <laughs> some spicy drama. As the I captain... feel like we should write a book. <laughs> captain looks around and makes sure everyone's still alive before he uh, corrects. And he set off back down, down south towards the Tepestia Islands. The calamity of the day alleviated. For now. Is there anything else you would like to do today? I'm gonna start uh, writing my book about Gaynor and Anid. The spicy fanfic. romance. The spicy romance. <laughs> uh, I, I'm just gonna approach the captain and, and just quickly say, uh, Captain Man, uh, you good? Oh, I feel like I had a noise of too much grog and not enough water. But well, those songs were pleasant for better or worse. I they lose their lure after a while. Feel right. on the right son. All right, just let me know if you need some. You if you need some healing, I got you. Appreciate it. Are you feeling all right yourself? I'm, I'm honestly, I, I'm a little jealous. Like I, I wish I could sing like that, but otherwise, I'm good. <laughs> oh, trust me. I never heard you sing, and I can guarantee you're much, much rather listen to you than them any time of the week. No, that's a bard backstory right there. Raised by her. <laughs> Raised by her. That, it, that mm. that's not a bad idea, actually. Yeah, hmm. Sounds like, it reminds me of a certain emo band that I'm not going to mention right now. Uh, <laughs> Sleeping with Sirens. That I said I'm not going to mention, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not you, yes. Cole. Fair enough. Uh, eventually, the dinner will be provided as the sun rises and sets in the sky. The dinner Yay! is chicken. 
<laughs> it's mostly rations, oh, oh, uh, no. like tack. It's mostly tack. <laughs> okay, well, oh. like, it, like it's not cannibalism if you eat a harpy, right? I mean, <laughs> technically no, but the crew doesn't seem particularly interested in that. They they look awfully human. I don't it's know. Exotic. <laughs> it's a gray area, I guess. Uh, as that conversation's happening, uh, and are, are you trying to hide your displeasure at the moment? At all? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try and be cordial. Like, I, I realize I was... Hacking roll to... for it. Uh, yeah. I'm, okay. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna ask you to roll a... I per guess this would technically be deception? Oh, okay, yeah, that works too. I, I get a plus two either way, so it doesn't really cool. help me at all. Where's deception? D? D. Deception. Hmm. Okay. Wow, he's deceptive. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> Vargas can tell your Vargas can tell you're a little bit uh, annoying. Oh, okay, it's Vargas. Okay. Vargas, yeah. my boy. Because he went over here to. to, to I thought uh, we were eating dinner. Yeah. Well, this. The, I'm jumping back and forth through timelines because that's what's happening. I see. But uh, at some point, as dinner's being called, he. He just kind of looks at you. He's like, "Do you want to talk about it?" I don't know what to say, honestly. Uh, Gaynor and I are old friends. Like, we 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 learned magic when we were children together. Like we tried to learn at the same pace. But then, then he he goes and makes some deal with some ocean creature, I guess. feels like he's cheating, I guess. Yeah, uh, am I here to hear this? Did you go below deck, or...? After I had my short talk with the captain, I, I would, I suppose. Uh, make a perception check. Oh god. Oh no. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh. Nope. You see them talking, but you can't make out what they're saying. Not from this distance, anyway. Well, look, I, I have to admit, I don't really know either of you that well, so I'm not sure I'd be the best one to be making any kind of judgment calls. All I can say is this is going to be a long journey. Especially longer if you don't feel comfortable talking to each other about... Well... This. No, like things weren't already awkward enough or between the two of us. I doubt it makes much of a difference at this point. If that makes you feel better. You guys since he's not much of a therapist, but he's trying his best. Aww. He's a good lad. Just to point out the last Goliath NPC I had was a was a murderous monster, so I feel like I owe, I owe them something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was that the guy from the very first boss of yeah, the first campaign? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't even remember what his name was. You're neither do I. Whatever. I thought he was cool. Anyway, I had all this lore planned up for him, and then I just was like, "Why am I doing this for him? He's going to die in the first whatever." Anyway, <laughs> like I was tied to him and everything. He was great. Yeah. And then he died. <laughs> then he died. That's so sad. But he came back as a zombie. Anyway. And then he died again. Um, <laughs> anyway, you you weren't there for that, Mickey. Sorry. I I, I figured. Well, uh, you know, I w you're a uh, uh, you're an Aussie. Sorry. sorry. Oh my god. You're an Aussie, aren't you? Uh, yes. We spent a lot of a lot of our time by the sea. Sometimes the sea speaks back, sometimes it has a destiny for us. I'm not going to pretend that it's always, you know, good and just, but sometimes it's the way to survive. I suppose. Sometimes the shark eats the fish, sometimes the fish gets away. I don't know. Shit. I'm... But 
but now the way we still have a few days left in this journey, so I suppose you have time to think about it. Uh, uh, I'm, I, 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 I appreciate the, the, the talk. I'll, I'll be, I'll, I'll, I'll see you uh, around. I'll be here. I'm not really going anywhere. And I'm, I'm gonna go below deck. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, sorry, Ollie. What were you saying? I would like to approach Gaynor. Okay. He's kind of just. Uh... Wait, I thought is he also? I thought he was below deck, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. At this point in time, uh, Gaynor is actually uh, help- helping the crew, like with any injuries or any repairs that need to be made. He he looks like he's trying to keep busy, and he looks up as you approach him, and then just kind of looks at you for a moment, Elyon, and then just goes back to his work. Whoa, whoa now. Uh, I'm not. I'm not really judging you for being a warlock. If that, if that's what you think, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes. I guess. I, I actually grew up near one. Believe it or not. <gasps> Is that so? Lore. Uh, uh, she, she was a nice lady. Uh, a, a little weird, but and she did kind of try to make me do a pack and follow that path in magic. But I, I, I wasn't that into it. <laughs> but uh, but what, what was your reason to follow that path in magic? Uh, from what Anit told me, the very little he did, sounds like he, you were aiming to study magic first. <sighs> He's writing my lore down. Fuck. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just trying. To, I'm just. I'm trying to just keep track of what NPCs are being told what Gaynor in case it comes pulls up out later. A laptop and starts typing. It, every time you say something, just like Gaynor will remember that. <laughs> that's a, that's the easiest way I can describe it. Oh wait, I just saw Mickey's Discord. <laughs> <sighs> roll a persuasion check for me, Elyon. Not that it matters because you're a bard, but roll it. Roll it anyway. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. Alright, I'll roll a second, roll a 12. <laughs> my god. Almost a crit, oh my god. Okay. This is dumb. Bards are <laughs> stupid, I love them. <sighs> As you're having this conversation, he kind of puts down the, the rope that he was tying and just takes a seat on a crate. Just kind of taking a moment to catch his breath. It was, uh... I'm not... I'm not naturally gifted. I'm not naturally smart like Aenid was. His intelligence came to him naturally, and his parents bought him all these books and these tutors, and... He accelerated quickly, and... I, I was happy for him, but... Sometimes I got frustrated wondering why I wasn't able to pull that off as well. But it was alright, because he helped me. We learned together. I made my own progress. And then he left. <laughs> so. And he he kind of looks at his hand. You can see there's like... You didn't notice it before. There's like an ever-present like drippage of water on his hands. Even Gross. as dry as they seem, there seems it. They seem to always be some kind of wetness to them. Oh, that's really gross. That's kind of gross. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> this is why you don't make deals with demons. <laughs> this wasn't my first. This wasn't my first choice, but Ro- I, I, I was Ro- right. You could have. You could have. So, could have been. Could could serve a god or. Served in nature, I guess, but... It was... Uh, I was approached by a, by a woman on the beach. Oh. She said she could help me. And she started to teach me things that came... much more naturally to me than the books and the, the spells and all that nonsense did. And for a while, I felt better, felt powerful. 
I was able to start making my own way in the city. And... I guess it was about a month ago now that that storm hit. And I lost everything. Uh... Can I assume Aeonid doesn't know about this at all? He never asked. Right. Well, if it's worth anything, my, my lips are sealed. Just, if you really want to know, I didn't do this out of... I guess I can't claim to not be arrogant at this point, can't I? Figure, I'm trying to figure my own things out. But... Right. Well, uh, I hope you don't think that you took some sort of shortcut for power. Like, sh sure, uh, you didn't study or beca became a hermit in a, in a fort or, or whatever. <laughs> but you, you, you did pay a price for it. And I, I, I like to think that's at least worth something in terms of Earning something. Yeah. I suppose we'll see soon, won't we? And hey, if you want to learn magic by singing, I can help you afterwards. Maybe we make it out of this alive. Well, like I know someone who can actually like cast spells while while swallowing a sword. It's like kind of gross, but that, that seems a little. That's a little. Uh... <laughs> Not quite what I had in mind, but... Oh, it, it's really not that hard. Uh, do you have a sword uh, I can borrow? I'll show you. Uh, not not on me. One of the crewmates went, Oh, I think I have I think I think have one, sir. He pulls out a, a scimitar. Oh, a scimitar doesn't work. No, no. <laughs> oh, fuck you too, then. He takes it and walks away. <laughs> a bit too curved and thick. Don't I take don't it out of you... contest. <laughs> curved swords. <laughs> I don't think you're going to find a rapier on a boat like this. It's more of a dignified, noble weapon. Well, uh, I, I pulled my key, Th This works well enough. Uh, open your mouth. <laughs> uh, I, I'm... Come on. I, I'm good. Uh, I, I, no, I'm just going to teach you. It's really uh, not that hard. I'm, 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 I'm good. All right. I, well, I appreciate it, but... I'm good. Well, if you change your mind, just let me know then. I will be sure to let you know when I change my mind. And hey, uh, Aeonid may be... He's smart, but he's also very clueless about a lot of stuff. It's true. And I think the last thing you two need is to not talk about it, especially when both of you almost died just now. And I guess life is too short to be petty. <sighs> Says the half-elf that can live to 200. half elves don't live that long. They do. <laughs> Duly noted, Ellie. Thank you. <laughs> uh, only close friends call me that. Hey, it's Sir Ellie unto you. <laughs> Sir Elion. Sir! I'm gonna need a deception on that one, buddy. <laughs> He'll make it. Oh my god. <laughs> Is there some kind of like medieval stolen valor going on here? I don't know how I feel does, about this. Does he. Does, there's no. I don't know why I'm rolling this. There's no. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright then, Sir Elion. Right. I. Uh, uh. I'm glad, I'm glad we know each other better now. <laughs> I know, walk, walk away. I'm kind of watching you a little bit confused as you walk off. Alright. Anyone else? Mm, I See. need, I, uh, Kira needs a nap. See, I was, okay. I was going to go down there to talk to Gator too. <laughs> but now I okay. feel like my, my thunder's been stolen a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> He, he, he's you my if, romance you, now. You no. can if you'd like to. Do you want to? Yeah, I would like to, yes. yes. I okay. Would. You just, uh, just kind of go down, just like kind of 
turn the corner and bump shoulders with Elyon as you both kind of turn and stare at the same time. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Me. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, here, uh, you, you might need this. I uh, inspire. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but, but I'm still inspired from the la from earlier. No, I thought, I, I thought, I thought Dub 10 minutes would have passed at this point. Double inspired. <laughs> ah, whatever. I'll, I'll take it. You know, I, I'm, he, and it's a little confused, but he, he'll just uh, keep on going. All right. You uh, see, uh, you do see Gaynor down there still working on the tying that same knot on the box that Elyon just saw. Uh, hey, uh, Gaynor. Hey. Uh, I, I, I want to apologize for what happened to Bob Deck. Apology accepted. It was um. Rash of me, I suppose. I, I didn't. I didn't consider your situation. What might make you accept this kind of bargain? You don't even know what kind of bargain it was. Well, I mean, you're a warlock. I, I at least yeah. have the gist of it. You make. I've always admired you, Ainet. I really did. But you have always had a really tough time of making assumptions in every situation. Uh, well, <laughs> yes, yeah, so I suppose it is a bit of a problem of mine. All right then. Tell me then, and it's gonna kind of sit down a bit, I guess. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure. Is is Gator like standing up, tying a knot, or is he like kind of kneeling? Uh, he was kneeling, but he's capable of sitting on that same box again. Okay, all right. Well, to rise. And and it's just gonna sit down on the ground. Okay. Then, what what exactly is the nature of this bargain then? Do you really want to know? Or you're just trying to make me feel better. A little of A, little of B. And he, he basically tells the same thing he just told Elyon about. A strange woman on the sea helped him out. Um, leaves out the part about the storm. Mm. But there was a woman on the beach. She, she told me what I needed to hear and showed me spells that came more naturally to me. And in return, I was to seek out knowledge for her, much like, much like we decided we'd do for the academy. I see. Now, I was wondering if your learning this knowledge via this pact, what good would the college be for you? But I suppose that makes sense. I'm not sure what the end goal is here. But it feels like a step in the right direction. I, I'll be honest, I'm still not entirely sure what she wants from me. I... But... Go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm... Oh, you okay. Say something. Well, I, I, I pray it's nothing too nefarious. You know, I have no way of knowing if this is, uh... As nefarious as you say it is, I really don't. But she hasn't told me to go out of my way and sacrifice any. That's what I'm afraid of. Oh, that's that's good. So I, I I wonder, would would you have any power to say no if she did want you to do that? Hopefully, we'll never find out. Fingers crossed. Um, <clears throat> what about you? How did your um, oh. how did your quest for knowledge go? Well, I haven't found any artifacts yet. I did find this cool rock, and I'll pull out the uh, the Ion Stone that I still haven't given to anyone. <laughs> I keep That's forgetting something. It, it's pretty neat, I suppose. I can cast spells with it, but uh, I keep meaning to give it to. Elion, but I also keep forgetting. <clears throat> um, 
Seems like you ought to do something with it sooner or later. Well, might have saved your life earlier. Yeah, my, it may have, yes. Uh, look, I, I'm not exactly a clever person. You know this. I do. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I haven't made any real progress with this journey. I've just been... I've been traveling all over the kingdom, which has been fun, I suppose, but... I've been learning spells, but I'm no step closer. He, you see, he does kind of lighten up a little. Like, like a weight kind of shifts off him just a little bit as you're saying that. Oh, thank goodness. He's also a fuck-up. <laughs> Basically, yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, you're always the smartest of us, and sure you'll figure something out I don't know maybe who knows maybe there'll be another relic on that island should we both be so lucky I have no idea what to expect <laughs> I got to be completely honest it could be anything out there well it has to be something that's not what I'm worried about I'm just worried about what the the something is hmm I know we're a little bit into this already now, but do you think this is a bad idea? <laughs> uh, how, how close is Kira? Is, he, is she on the other end of the ship? Are, are are you just like creepily watching them, Kira? Or I, I feel like I'd be somewhere in in the corner of of the room there. <laughs> uh, roll a stealth check. Where's my stove? <laughs> no! Yeah, they both see you. Hold on, Kira <laughs> doesn't know how to write! How dare you! No, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I, 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 I see Kira uh, scribbling away in the corner, and I, I'm assuming she's got a bit of a, a glint in her eye. A bit of a strange look, perhaps. Oh, oh my god, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, Aiden's not going to say anything, but he's definitely concerned. <laughs> what, what was the last thing Ganor said? Sorry. <laughs> I got I got distracted by Yaoi fan fiction. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's just kind of. I know we're already a little bit, a little bit ways into this journey. So I guess there's no harm in me asking you now. Do you think this is a bad idea? Mm, absolutely, yes. No question in my mind. This is a terrible idea. Then despite everything, I'm glad you're here with me. And I'm glad I came along. Kira, I'm going to snatch that quill out of your hands if you turn around and walk away. <laughs> Kira, stop looking at us like this. No! I'm uncomfortable. No, I'm a, I have free will. Leave me alone. Gino, what does this look mean? I don't understand. <sighs> I've just never, gotta roll his eyes. I've never seen this before. I'm gonna get some food and get to sleep. You have fun dealing with the aftermath of whatever this is. Mm -hmm. What aftermath? <laughs> she asks innocently. <laughs> I... I, I'm I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna walk over to Kira. I'm gonna shove my book in my bag of holding. What's so? Why, why are you so secretive about your book, Kira? Nothing. Nothing. You don't even know. I. You don't even think I can write. <laughs> that that was a Mark joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like he. I feel like Anid has mentioned it a couple times also. <laughs> no, he's just he's only called you stupid. Damn. In <laughs> <laughs> I'm too dumb to write. Leave me alone. <laughs> well, if you're too dumb to write, then you wouldn't mind me looking at your scribbles, then, right? No, not at all. I'm gonna grab my bag of holding and run. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and grab the bag. I'm gonna cast hold person. <laughs> <laughs> you're not there. <laughs> He's just, hey, uh, thank you. I, I, I never said I, I never said I went upstairs. Make um. So you're trying to grab her. 
I'm, I'm trying to grab the bag. Oh, this is going to be hilarious, though. Oh, no. <laughs> so, the initiator on a grapple can only roll athletics. I need you to make an athletics check, Aided. Oh, boy. I'm, I'm good at this. Kira, you, you can choose either acrobatics oh, or athletics. Yeah. I don't think it'll yeah. matter. You, you already wasted your luck. Yeah. Yeah. You are inspired. Oh, yeah. I'll give you a D8. Yeah. Let's see what happens. You have to roll a... <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> That's exactly what you needed. What? All right. Internally Perfect. aided. Thanks, Elion. <laughs> you reach. You reach out and you your fingers nimbly grab the bag from under her arm. Oh. Give it back. I'm gonna. I'm gonna fucking reach in. Give it back. Get get, get the journal. No. <laughs> All right. Are you trying to grab it back, Kira? Yes. I'm, I'm holding it above her head. I can fly. Oh, yeah, she can fly, right. <laughs> <laughs> what am I rolling? I think you just roll me a d20 real quick. All right, all right. Okay. Oh, my God. And it's able to get the book out of the bag. No. <laughs> I, I flip it open. I'm gonna chop the back of his knees with my hand. Ow! Crazy chop. <laughs> okay, well, Aim's able to get a, a look at like at least the first page he turns to. Uh, so, for anything, what does uh, what does he see, Kira? Uh, it, it's it's the first page is basically a, a charter of the different characters. I've written a couple names and scratched them out and changed them to other ones. Uh, <laughs> At the moment, Aenid is potentially Andrew, uh, and Gaynor might be Jeffrey, Can but I... she's not sure yet. I'm oh, terrified oh, of that's... how much thought the Oh, is. God, that's so fucking weird. Not because, not what you might think. You said Andrew and Jeffrey are my brother's names. That's a really Wait, really? weird, that's a weird fucking coincidence. What? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, Christ. I was not aware of this, <laughs> but that makes it better. That's so much worse. Oh my god. Uh, uh, I'd, I'd like I'd like to do an insight check to see if I can I can glean the real meaning of these fake names. Uh, do you do you really need to? <laughs> I suppose not. No. I I would imagine you don't really need he, to do this. But he doesn't appreciate the true arts. He he doesn't read into it. Uh, while that's happening, Kira, go ahead and make a strength check for. Yeah. So it just basically, like click, on, it's... click on the word strength on the left of your uh, sheet. Strength. It's not a saving throw, strength. Um... Yeah, basically, the first page is just notes. Hey, and by any chance, did you have major armor up? I did not know. But, cool, so but you get I, I, the back cast, of I cast shield as a reaction. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> as, you, as you see Kira's hand swinging out towards your knees, you just kind of snap and cure your hand impacts an arcane barrier right behind his knee. I will read this mm. smile. No. You tried to see my porn, I'll read your porn. I didn't even find yours! But you tried. It's not the <laughs> point! <laughs> I'm gonna try and grapple him and, and wrestle him Why to the ground. Why do we all PvP over stupid shit? <laughs> okay. Because... The only PvP we had is over porn so far. Yeah, yeah. honestly. <laughs> so before that happens, uh, you have I would say you have time to read the next page, Mickey, if you have anything planned for that. I don't. <laughs> it's going to be something or other about... Uh, um, I don't, I don't fucking know. We're on a boat, so it's going to be some spicy romance on a boat. And... The the there's only one bed left and they have to share the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Kira, this is a family you... friendly D and D. Show. This is ridiculous, Kira. There's plenty of beds here. I don't know why you're writing this. <laughs> what are you talking about? There, that's not here. That has nothing to do with us. Get it back. It's, it's on a boat. I'm clearly Andrew. No. I'll be Kira. In... Kira. What? Kira. What? <laughs> Give it back! <laughs> okay, now, uh, you said you were tackling him? Yeah. Go ahead, uh, Kira, make an athletics check, ain't it acrobatics or athletics? 
Uh, yeah! Oh, okay. Well, I'll roll for good measure. Whoa! 19, though, dude. Nice. Not a bad roll, though. Yeah. Okay. As you're thinking, like, wow, that's a pretty good roll. <laughs> this <laughs> tiny wrecking ball just hits you from behind and you go flying just to the ground. football tackle. <laughs> yeah. The book, goes, the book goes flying out of your hands. <laughs> Wind's knocked out of me. I'm, I'm out. I'm not getting yeah. back up for a little bit. I'm going to use some leverage and use him as leverage and just kind of bounce off the ground and, fl like, fly towards the book and grab it. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Are you trying to do anything, Aiden? Hit or uh, roll Aiden's... a death save, Aiden. Aiden. <laughs> <laughs> Aiden's just trying to catch his breath right now. <laughs> All right, so Kira, you get the you get the book back. Excellent, Kira. What the what? fuck? What the hell? You took my book. <laughs> Aiden doesn't have a response to that. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. I'll get your review on it later. Thank you. I'm going to storm out the room. <laughs> hey, a wizard survived the fisticuffs with the barbarian for like three rounds. Congratulations. I, I, I feel pretty successful. You did it, dude. Nice. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> All right. Anyway, what's, what's Elliot up to? What? Uh he, he was resting on the wall the whole time. <laughs> just watching this entire interaction. <laughs> not, not watching, just overhearing. <laughs> well, I was going to say, unless I feel like at this point, uh, you guys can all get some meal from the galley. Just some. It's pretty much just going to be uh, um, hardtack and ale and stale water at this point when you're on sea. Stale water? Yeah. Stale water? Yeah, water can go stale if it sits for too long. I hate that. Yeah, right? Uh. Get some of uh, Gainor's uh, hand water. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'll take, the, I'll take nope. the stale water, please. Nope, stale water, absolutely. Uh, so you all get a nice evening's rest in your hammocks. Yay! We all get a full rest. Nice. Yay. 55, I get my rage back. Get my spells back. Bingo bang. Woo! Bingo bang. Wow. I sure use a lot of resources back there. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Ollie. That was <laughs> not, a, <laughs> not a very fun fight for Ollie. Uh, by the way, I'm very trigger happy with third, with higher casting on third level because I really don't have any spells there in the first place. True. So fucking might as well heal for 25 in one turn. Why not? There you go. All right. Um, I'm going to say, if you guys are cool with it, one more short break, then we can do one, maybe two more days of travel. Yeah, sure. Sounds good. Sure, sure. Cool. Short break. All right. Uh, I'm going to get some more cider. God, I wish I had some cider right now. Hmm.
Hello. Yo. Hey there. Hello. Hello. Greetings. Am I actually gonna have to write some fan fiction for Gaynor and Aenid? Fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Elion would approve. <laughs> he would get. He would give creative help. <laughs> Perfect. I can get your assistance with it then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like. I don't like how that laugh sounds. <laughs> that's that's very scary. I'll make sure not to publish in your hometown. It's fine. Oh. oh okay. Well, that's, that's that's fine then. But so, everyone in the Fey Wilds will know. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. So how long do? Do pixies live for, or fairies? Uh, I can't remember. Let me check. They live quite a long time. Hmm. Um... Uh, according to this, at least, outside of the Feywild, fairies live, rarely live longer than 600 years. <laughs> so, <laughs> so both, like, 600 we're both, years. <laughs> we're both gonna outlive Aeonid by a lot. Mm -hmm. Probably, probably. Oh, yeah. I only go to up to, like, 200 at max, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm basically... Basically a child. <laughs> Which makes sense. With how she acts. <laughs> Let's see, what does this say? Da -da -da. Mm. Uh. Num 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 num. Okay, is this the new? Is this the new official one? I don't know. Because I started playing Kira before the official one was actually released. Hmm? Oh, oh, How right. Was You're looking at right, 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 right. Uh-huh. Was it too different? The uh, right now? Yeah, one was a... um. What's the... I can't remember. It was an experimental fairy race. But I got it into my brain that I wanted to try it. Oh. And then Cole let me. <laughs> but then they actually released the official one recently with the new... Uh, what's it called? Witch Light? Hmm. Uh -huh. I can't but, remember. But it doesn't seem doesn't seem to be game breaking uh, as a class. Uh -uh. As a race, I should say. Hello, hello. Hello. Greetings. Is Ollie here too? Yeah. Cool. All right. Nitish uh, 
Hmm. You should... So is everyone taking the benefits of a full rest? Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, oh, you know, I need to get my health back. Well, you should do that. <laughs> there we go. Because you were half dead. Yeah. Where'd Kira go? Hmm? Huh? I booped her down downstairs, so I took her off the thing. Oh, okay. Uh, let's just say the night night comes and goes. You all wake up on the second day of the journey, and Ganor stops being a whiny baby, and now he's back up with you as well. Yay! Good job, Ganor. So he's hanging out over here somewhere. No longer armor of Agathus. All right. Who wants to roll me a d6? Well, uh, Ollie did it last time, so I'll do it this time. God, Boop, don't give her <laughs> idea, please. Okay. No. No. <laughs> Alright, cool. How, how have I ruined the party today? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you guys uh, sail on for a ways longer. It's uh, the cloud seems to be uh, quite persistent in this part of the this part of the world. They begin to roll back in, and light rainfall begins to fall yet again. Oh, uh, I would like everyone to roll me a perception check. Oh no! Ooh, goody! Perception. Yeah, we needed a druid for the wisdom. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, if if, El if Anna gets God, I'm rolling up a druid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Anna, you're glancing out over at sea, and uh, you see something in the water a few oh my god, <laughs> a few couple hundred feet ahead of you. Oh no! Uh, as you get the boat gets closer, it looks like a piece of a large piece of driftwood hmm. with two figures clanging onto it. Oh. Cast fireball. <laughs> uh, I, I I would like to alert the captain of this. Okay. Mm, what's... Uh, oh. Crew! And he calls the crew. They start getting ropes and stuff. And uh, they, they start throwing out ropes and stuff towards the people on the raft. But there's no move to grab them. Oh. Again. Uh, he... The boat begin to slow as they roll up the sails and a couple crewmen in a dinghy go out to retrieve them. After a few minutes, the dinghy comes back and they pull up the two people that you realize are a young human girl and a kanku. Hmm. They're thrown on deck both... You get the sense they're alive but unconscious. I'll spare the dying, both of them. Okay. You do that. You do see uh, some shuddered breathing kind of slow and steady a bit. They do not wake, however. Hmm. Do we just, like, we just... splash water on them? or like? I, I, I think they've had enough try. water. Boop their face? You can try. I'll try shaking them a little. Okay. Which one? Uh, both of them. Okay. Which one first? You only have. Uh, I'll, I'll. Well, I don't think Aina has ever seen a Kenku before, so he's gonna shake the human up first. Okay. And you see, it's a young girl, maybe like preteens kind of age, hmm. maybe twelve or thirteen years old. You shake her, and she. After much, she kind of starts coughing up seawater. <laughs> Uh, she... and it will then move on to the Kenku. Okay. Same thing. Kind of, ah, it's more of a hacking sound, like a bird. Like, ah, is the sound that he, that comes out of his voice as he looks up at you. A loud booming sound come, is what he's making. If you didn't, that didn't translate. Mm. The girl looks up at everyone, kind of shielding her eyes from the light, from the bright light. Despite the fact that it's raining, she's been fierce to be out for quite a while. Where are we? On a boat. I like that that much. 
Um, and she she looks over. Is is he? Is he all right? And as she says that, just... okay, he's all right. Uh. Who are you two exactly? Why were you in the water? Yeah. Um. My name. My name is Sophie, and this is. Um. Everyone calls him Boomer. As she says that. <laughs> Ow. Another boom. Sound. It sounds like like a. It sounds like cannon fire, essentially. Mm. I. I, I don't... I don't remember anything. H how long have I... And she she looks and she's visibly starting to panic. I, I don't know. What, where, where are we? Are... Calm are down, we really... calm down. You just woke up. Uh, take a second to dry up. And then you can look around more. Uh, do you need any healing? Or are you good? I... She kind of starts patting herself. I, I, I think I'm okay. How about your loud friend there? Uh, Pikinku looks up at you with the same exact voice. I, I think I'm okay. God, All right, then, then how about you go you go below deck and get some warm food in your bellies and just relax a little. Okay. Uh, Boomer, do you... And she as she gets up, she's like... You don't remember anything, do you? All I can remember is my name, but... And she looks at Boomer, who just kind of... shrugs. Boomer appears to be... As far as Kanku go, it's kind of hard to tell their ages, but he appears to be a bit of an older Kanku. Maybe would equate to a young adult. Hmm. Kankus do not live as long as humans, though, so he's pr that's still probably in the early teens, as far as actual calendar years go. Right, right. Hmm. But uh, the captain will take the two and will guide them downstairs and give them uh, a place to rest. After a few moments, he'll come back up. Right, uh, it's not often we get castaways out here, but I told them we'd, we were heading to Novdoma and that we'd uh, let them off there and hopefully they could find their own way after that. Uh, Captain, are we even near anywhere that they could have come from? Not exactly. First island of the best was maybe a couple hundred miles away. Can't imagine we'll survive floating like that. My guess is they fell off another ship. Mm -hmm. Maybe there was a shipwreck of some kind? It's possible. I'm gonna attempt to recognize the wood they they were floating on. <laughs> Roll a nature check, I guess. Wouldn't it be history. No. Well, I mean, like <laughs> carpentry styles. Uh, kind I know of what you're getting at. I'm gonna say that that's not gonna work. Oh, unfortunately, <laughs> man. Uh, just give you a very hard AC, and I'll do it. Fine. Roll history. I mean, by nature and, and history, you're both one, so... <laughs> Why are you arguing then? No, because no. it just made, it's made more sense to me. It looks like wood that's been severely waterlogged. Any rec any recognizable signs of identification have long... So, they've been out at sea for a while, then. At least a couple of days, you gather. Mm -hmm. They were... They are not doing too well but the crew gives them water and some food and they appear to be fine well uh that, that, that was the event for the day so <laughs> oh well do you, you guys want to do anything else with them or just move on to day three whatever you want to do uh what? you you wouldn't have any spells that helps with mines would you Hey, I need... Oh, sorry, say that again? You wouldn't have any spells that would help with memory? I know it's a long shot. Uh, 
No, I don't think I do. Unless there's some kind of roundabout way to use identify that I'm not familiar <laughs> with. The uh, voice I mean, in your head says no. <laughs> maybe maybe they're wearing anything suspiciously magic, but uh, otherwise I, I doubt it. What if I use the guidance on them? <laughs> Guide them to their lost What are you memory. trying to guide? Uh, well, it, it gives them... They can add a d4 to an ability check. So what if, if hypothetically they made a history check and see to, saw if they could remember their own history? <laughs> you know what? Just because it sounds fun, sure. Why not? Uh, well, so do you want to go down deck to talk to them? Um, I, I'm yeah. going to go with to help with the process. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, uh, are you sure this is gonna work, Ayanid? I have no idea. I've never done anything like this before. Hmm. But nice. it shouldn't hurt, hopefully. Uh, oh. Sophie, Boomer? Uh, you go down and you see they're currently being situated in some of the uh, open hammocks down below. Um, you see a, a crewman is talking to Sophie. She looks up at him and just kind of asks him. He nods, like, you know, he's like, very, yes, of course, whatever you need. And he runs off uh, quite quickly. Uh, hello. Hi. Uh, my name is Aenid. Hi, Aenid. As I understand, you and your companion here are missing your memories. I seem to would like to try and use magic to see if I could restore them. I don't know if it'll work, but I think it's worth a shot. And, and I'm a, a here to assist with my magic. Well, so, not really magic. Um, I, I suppose it's worth a shot. Okay. Well, all right. All right. So, which one of you is going first? Um. They kind of look at each other. Sophie kind of shrugs, and then Boomer looks up at you, Elyon, and in your voice, going first. Mm -hmm. it, All right. It, and it is. He, he's a little unsettled by it, but uh, <laughs> he, he's gonna he's gonna shake that off. Shake oh. it off. All right, Boomer. Uh, if you'd be so kind, hang out or ha hold out your. They have hands, right? <laughs> he looks offended. No, yes, I'm, they have, I'm they have like feathered hands. Yeah, okay, uh, if you could hold out your hand, Boomer. He does. They have like they have, they have like claws. Uh, uh, those no, hands I, are natural weapons. I I, I will. Oh, huh. neat. All right. Well, I I will I will delicately uh, hold his hand and I will cast guidance on him. And I'm gonna inspire Boomer. <laughs> All right. Uh, play a little jaunty tune to help him. Some intense uh, <laughs> of liar music. So let's see, plus four plus. Uh, let's see. Your inspiration is D eight only. Yeah. Let's see if this works. Holy, holy shit! Sh he's gonna remember the hell out of it. He didn't need my inspiration. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Cool. He just wants to try hard enough earlier, I guess. He he appears to be calmed by the by the presence of you two and Sophie kind of holding his other hand as he goes through this. He closes his eyes and kind of relaxes, thinks for a moment. He kind of tilts his head and kind of shoots back a bit, put, picking up both hands. And looks looks around widely, wildly at uh at the two of you and at Sophie. Boomer, what's wrong? He's breathing heavily. Yes, they can. <laughs> and actually, as I said, he looks at you, Elyon. Tilts his head. Looks at you, Aenid. He says in a deep, gravelly voice that you haven't heard yet. Get out of my boat, you monster. Huh? Oh. Oh. That's a... That doesn't sound good. Very odd way... Wait, he, wait, he's repeating. He's repeating what he said, what he heard. Mm -hmm. I right. suppose that was the last thing he heard before he was tossed overboard. 
assuming that's what happened. I, I, uh, I think, I think hey, that's he looks at you. Function. He looks at you, ain't it? That's what happened. And it's scared again. <laughs> <laughs> As Sophie looks shocked, I, I don't remember anything like that. Well, do you do you remember anything else? He sadly shakes his head. Hmm. Well, Miss Sophie, would you like to attempt the same thing? It's worth a shot, I suppose. All right, and uh, I, I I will repeat the process with her. You too, Ollie. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Damn. Don't, they don't even need it. Honestly. <laughs> she s struggles to remember. She's closing her eyes as she's holding your hands and just... her. She looks like she's about to... Seems about to start flying out of her ears as she's thinking. I, I don't... I remember flashes. I remember a boat. The captain was an angry man. But he was always nice to me. Hmm. I think he would give me extra food when I was hungry. Until one day he hated me. Aww. That's all I can remember. I'm... I'm sorry, both of you. <sighs> Whatever happened, it sounded painful. I suppose so. But right now I just... <laughs> no offense, but I'm starting to get kind of sick of the water. Hoping I can find dry land soon. Well, we should be in there in another day, so it won't be much longer. Thank you for letting us stay with you, then. Don't thank me. Thank the captain. Uh, I, I, I do thank us, though. Oh. <laughs> If it's all the same, I think we need to lie down now. It's been a while since we've had a proper rest. Right. Yes, yeah, so you've... You've had a rough few days, probably. Thank you. Uh, and I, I, I will step away from the two of them. Okay. Elion, uh, what's, what's your take on this? Oh wait, me? Yes, yes, you, Elion. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know anyone else. You named Elion. Well, well, right. I, I just there, there isn't much of a take I can give you, honestly. Mm. Uh, probably it's just some pirates raiding and shit. I mean, you tell me. You know, you're more of a pirate than I am. Uh, <laughs> very tech, very technically speaking. <laughs> that's that's a bit dubious, but um, hmm. what if the captain would know anything? Uh, we don't have a lot of information to give him anyway. Mm. I wonder if they ran into harpies and they got possessed. Would the harpies have them throw them overboard, though? Uh huh. Oh, has Kira been there the whole time? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was just me and Elian. No. I thought it was. <laughs> but I'm fine with it. I'm still here. Kira's just standing there quietly, all sad. <laughs> hmm. uh, well, what about you, Kira? What do you think? Is there a possibility that they did get attacked, but then they managed to escape on the uh, driftwood and off they went? Hmm. Uh, I don't well, know. It sounds like the captain forced them off the boat. Yeah. Perhaps there's something about the child? Mm. Sailors oh, are away. superstitious folk. Perhaps there's something magical about her? Can hmm. we test it? Well, I do know a spell for it, but I'd rather let her rest. Yeah. Uh, and besides that, we have more important things to do. Uh, I feel like we've done more than enough for them. Mm-hmm. I suppose so. Alright. 
on with travel. Okay. So you now have two extra passengers on board as you go below deck for your second night of rest. Tomorrow, barring acts of the gods, you will reach the Tempestia Islands. So, the night comes and go. Comes and goes. I can do art. Sorry, it's been a long day. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Alright. I would like... Kira, I believe you were the last one left. Yep. Come. Would you like to roll, roll me a d6? D6? Not sure of six. A d6, yeah. I have full faith in you. Two. Roll again, that's what we already got. Roll again. D6. Six. There you go. Nice. I inspired you without inspiring you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, that's, that's not the one I wanted. All right. So. Uh, huh? So who wants to fight a, fight a Leviathan? I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, okay. Cool. <laughs> so. uh, Kira. It is the third day of travel for you. Yes. You're starting. You're beginning to feel quite bored. I am bored. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I, I see. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Did all the sun make I've been game. stuck on a boat. Okay. We'll just say, for sake of argument, you're kind of just looking over a railing right now, just kind of chilling. It's been a long. It's been a long journey. You know you're almost you're almost to the end of it. You have to be getting close to shore by now. But you're not quite there yet. Kira thought this was a shorter trip than it was. <laughs> <sighs> As you're sitting there just kind of falling over life, realizing this trip is longer than you thought it would be, and realizing you're gonna have to make <laughs> the same trip going back. Oh my god. More boat. As you're having this revelation, you hear a voice. What are you going to do? Who? Make a perception check. Who? Perception. Ah! <laughs> it's a disembodied <laughs> voice coming to you out of nowhere. Must have been the wind. No. Who? What voice? Who? I'm bored too. What are you who, up to? Who are you? Look down. Okay. You look down into the water and you see a... Uh, what was it? Yeah. You see a... <clears throat> you see two bright green orbs that you realize are eyes looking up at you from just above the surface of the water. Surrounded by a kind of a dirty golden face that's mostly obscured by the waves. Dirty golden face? Like that's the color of uh, what you can see. Who are you? Who are you? Ah, uh, I'm Kira. Hello. Hi, Kira. I'm Cerule here. Are you so, bored? I am bored. Are you bored? I'm very bored. Why are you bored? <sighs> I've had nothing to do for a very long time. No one ever talks to me anymore. Hmm. I'll talk to you. Do you want to be my friend? I'd love to be your friend. Huh. Do you want more friends? Sure. <gasps> Hold on a second. I, I want to go get Aenid and Elion. Okay. Guys! Guys, guys, well, guys, you want, yeah. you, you want a new friend? Uh, this is like uh, mid-afternoon to like the heat of the day, everyone. Kira, you're not hallucinating, are you? I don't think so. You want a new friend? Um, He's in the water. He's what? <laughs> He's in the water. Oh wait, it's a is it a mermaid? Uh, Elian just goes. <laughs> a mermaid. <laughs> you guys should go talk to him. And it's a lot oh, more him. excited now. <laughs> <laughs> oh him. 
Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> well, I, there's still cultural significance to it. Um, yes, I'd like to meet this friend of yours. All right, let's go. All right. Oh, uh, and you go in too? Yeah, but not as fast as before. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, the two of you peer over and you see the same two bright green kind of slitted eyes looking up at you from just from just above the surface of the water. Oh, well, hello. Who are you? I brought my friends. Uh, that's uh, very nice. I am the great Sir Elion, at your service. Sir? Sir? Yes, it is don't, sir to you. Don't know it's not. Uh, when has it been sir? Uh, about one hour ago. What? I, I, actually, two days ago. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, this is Elion. <laughs> uh, my name is Anid. Elion. And Anid. Y you are. You can call me Sir Rulinir. Sir Rulinir. Uh, here. I don't have a sheet made for this guy because I'm not making. I, I'm learning my so, lesson. I'm not making sheet for every minor NPC. Oh, <laughs> take up so much space. It's a minor so, NPC. Ma, my immersion. Sorunia. Yeah, good luck. Sorunia. Uh, if if you don't if, forgive me for coming off as forward asking this, but what are you, Sorunia? I could ask you the same thing. Oh, well, damn! I'm, I'm a human. <laughs> And, and I'm the the cooler human. A half elf. Cooler and human. And that's small human. <laughs> human, cooler human. No, it's yeah. not. It's not the actual. <laughs> <laughs> that's not. <laughs> All my years, I've never heard them refer to such a thing. <laughs> that's not the call. <laughs> <laughs> My limbs are getting tired from all this floating. Do you mind if I come? Uh, uh sure. I, I guess. Thank you. And you see the green eyes will dip below the water. And all of a sudden, you'll hear a massive splashing sound as a massive bronze claw comes up and digs into the side of the ship. <gasps> and as you, up, you see the form of a massive dragon. Uh, a massive what? Another dragon. A bronze dragon. Uh, oh shit! Oh, it's a metallic yeah. though. It is. Another uh, dragon. It, as it reaches up its long neck, it eclipses the sun. The entire ship is taken. Note: the entire ship is listing on weight as it climbs up and crawls. Its wings spread out, and essentially eclipses the sun from where you guys are standing. Uh, uh, all right. So we met green, silver, and now this is a bronze one. And it, it slams its claws down onto the deck, and as it does, it lurches. And the entire form, in an instant, shrinks. Uh, and where that one claw was, you now see a tan dwarf with dirty blonde hair sitting just sitting on the deck, looking at you. Oh, I thought it was going to be a baby dragon. I got really sad. Yeah, yeah, I got me excited. I, I was ready to go, aww, <laughs> but it's a, it's a stinky dwarf. Hey, can't say that. I can. I have. I am half elf. <laughs> you, I mean, Why that just buy it? <laughs> I just give you a pass. And the entire ship has taken notice now of the the newcomer. Oh, I didn't notice you were a dragon, friend. I I was mm -hmm. expecting some other kind of sea creature. Yeah, Why were you in? Why were you in the water? It's too hot. The water's nice and cool. Hmm. And it's sweat. That makes sense. Wipes brown. Yeah. He does notice. You look nervous. Yup. Uh, well, no. Yeah, well, well, yeah. You're a dragon. We're not. We're not. Well, actually, we did speak to a dragon before, but we're not that used to. It. <laughs> I'm not going to hurt you. I just wanted to visit. I, 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 I kind of motion slightly to my necklace of the green dragon. For the first time since you've met him, you do see a little bit of emotion on his face. A bit of... A kind of like a, oh shit. Where did you get that? Uh, in the swamp, believe it or not. You don't uh, happen to be familiar with a dragon named Venetum, would you? Venetum. Green dragon? 
That little runt, what's he up to nowadays? <laughs> Sitting in a pond, mostly. Yeah. Wait. And he has kobold friends. Did you say he was in a swamp? Uh huh. Yeah, near Stillwater Creek. That is interesting. I suppose I'll have to check in on that eventually. Uh, do, you, do you know him? I knew his father. Oh. oh. Backstory on dragons. <laughs> uh, and, and where do you live, friend? Uh, there's an island not far from here. That island has a cave. That cave has my bed. <laughs> Fair enough. I love him so much. <laughs> Actually, can I can I can I do like a nature check to get a little insight on uh, bronze dragon? Uh, I love your dragons. Oh my god. Thank you. Nice. Oh, uh, what do you what are you trying to know? Well. Well, I mean, I give me the, give me the, like the basic gist of them, like what their 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 domain is, I guess, and general. Well, for, uh, first off, uh, yeah, I uh, so bronze dragons are metallic dragons, as you have uh, correctly surmised. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to get things organized. Oh my god. They do primarily live in uh, coastal environments. Hmm. Uh, generally in um, in coastal caves or shipwrecks or things of that nature. Uh, I don't really have a place to put this. I'm just going to put this in characters. Uh, just to give you an idea of... He's roughly this size. Hmm. Okay. He's, he's massive. God he's, damn. He is an ancient dragon. And I'll just go ahead and bam. Bam. There we go. So uh, you made us shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't. Yeah. Because why not? I, <laughs> I respect it. I respect it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh. Well, you know, not many dragons have a. um. A direct counterpart across metallic and chromatic. The closest comparison you could make to a bronze would be a blue dragon, hmm. particularly in their affinity to lightning. Interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, but generally speaking, they're they're f as far as metallics go, they're fairly friendly. They're not as like outwardly social as silver dragons are to people, but they've been known to just kind of pop up on people, especially passing ships in this instance, and just kind of checking in on people, seeing how they're doing. No. Uh, this dragon in particular, Sirolnir, the name doesn't necessarily sound familiar, but you've heard tales of a, of an ancient dragon family, of which has been reduced in the years, that Seem to be, uh, seem to have taken a liking to this part of the Verdant Sea. Hmm. Could be related. Yeah, there's there's a pretty good chance they're related. Um, that's a general. That's kind of the general disposition about them. They're fairly friendly. They like ocean, coastal environments. They're very good swimmers, as you as you've seen. Uh. Uh, so, uh, uh, so, friend, I, uh, uh, me and the other different types of humans are, uh, <laughs> uh we're adventurous, so, I mean, if you have any quests you, you may want, uh, we, we, can, we could possibly provide. Hmm. But, but we are kind of on a quest on a quest. We have like three ongoing quests right now. Layers, There's a lot of quests. quests. Oh, well, it sounds like your schedule is quite filled up at the moment, doesn't it? Like an onion, it has layers. 
That's a good analogy. I like that. <laughs> well, you're more than welcome to come pay me a visit when you're done with your onion. <laughs> I, 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 I suppose I suppose our quest does have layers. <laughs> um <laughs> Did you find that humorous small one? I have many more jokes if you would like to hear some more. <laughs> she, she she finds a lot of things funny, sir. Because of the onion, of course. Hey, Kira. Oh, no. What do you do with a green dragon? What? Wait Aided. until it ripens. Wait, what? <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, uh, Alright, friend, you're kind of dragon this along now. <laughs> 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 Wait, That's did you funny. did you happen to see a boat with with a with some people and there was a little girl and a kenku that that got kicked off the boat? That was went from very generic to oddly specific. Because it is. Hmm. I can't think of anything in recent memory. A lot of blood passed through these waters. I can't be expected to see all of them. That makes sense. We have some friends. If there's one you'd like me to keep an eye out for, I could see what I could do. Mm. I don't think we have enough information to pass no. along here. Not well, really. Yeah. Hmm. As you're having this conversation, the captain kind of steps up. Bloody hell is going on. Oh, hello, Captain. We made a friend. I can see that. Is he... he? You see, he's terrified, and the only response he can come up is I don't think we have the food to feed a bloody dragon. Like, oh, don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. What do you eat? They need Fish. A notebook. <laughs> Sometimes I like a nice tuna. Occasionally mackerel. Hmm. Swordfish are a bit spicy, but not for the reasons you'd think. Why? Sometimes when you eat spicy foods, they hurt your throat going down. Swordfish mm -hmm. do as well, but that's just because they cut it up with their sword. Oh. Well, that sounds very unpleasant. It is. I hear swordfish is quite good, though. Never had it myself. There's a reason I keep eating it. <laughs> it's a reason to suffer for the pain. <laughs> Sometimes whale is quite nice too, but they're a bit harder to maintain. Uh, you haven't. Uh, have you ever eaten paladins? I know it's an odd question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wait, uh, we uh, happen to be looking for one. <laughs> that is an just... odd question. It's just that I hear that they taste lawful. And <laughs> it punches Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're on fire, cooler heat. Sorry, I, like I appreciate. She has a very contagious laugh. <laughs> uh, I appreciate it. I appreciate someone else who who respects the arts of puns. <laughs> sometimes I like, make, I like to make puns too. Sometimes, but I'm not very good at them. Often, I just oh, wing no. it. Oh no! <laughs> oh, oh. Well, I, I'm sure you you. You will be very aware of the scale of the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> you 
<laughs> so this goes his... on. I'm assuming this just goes on for several hours. <laughs> you know what his laugh kind of re reminds me of? What? Did Patrick. you guys watch Zootopia? <laughs> That's kind, of, that's kind of what I'm going for. That's kind of what I'm going for. The fucking sloth. Yeah. Oh. Damn, the skills are in Indy's dragon's favor now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this probably goes on for several hours. <laughs> Eventually, uh, if you don't mind me asking, Cooler here, why do, you, why do you ask if I've eaten a paladin? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> joke. I, th th that was just part of the joke. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like oh. I may have come across one in probably a long time ago. Hmm. He well. didn't taste very good. <laughs> <laughs> right. Lawful and all that. Oh, I'm not sure I would consider him lawful. Oh. But he's a paladin. Is that their thing? Generally speaking, though I suppose it just depends on the god they serve. Maybe it was an evil paladin. He sure tasted evil. Oh. Uh, by the way, uh, do you happen to know anything about our destination? Uh, I don't know what your destination is. Right. Uh, and what was the name of the castle? Uh, what was the name of the castle? <laughs> Anna, please, fuck it's your God. quest. I know. <laughs> ah, fu it's, it was you made fun of me for the name of it last last week. Uh, Valen. Yeah, Ca Valen. Valen. Castle Valen. Castle Valen. The name seems familiar. Though I don't know many of the people from that place. Uh, well, at this point... Everyone that wants to live there is probably dead or moved on. That's sad. Well, I heard they weren't very good people. You know, I don't think they were either. I mm -hmm. feel like I remember them dumping disgusting rot into the ocean when they were done with them. Oh. Yeah. Like, bodies? I believe so. I see. <coughs> it angered, uh. It angered old stretchy arms down there. Stretchy arms? Oh, that's a story for another time. Stretchy arms? Are we gonna run into stretchy arms? I sure hope not. Mm. Now that I think about it. Hmm. Maybe it was his paladin that I ate. <laughs> he did too. <laughs> hmm. I'll have to think about this. Hmm. So he hangs. He hangs around for a while as uh, the ship continues to sail southward. I want to make him a flower. That's very kind of you, Kira. Thank you. Mm-hmm. He will uh, just like one flower. No, I want to make a bouquet. That's even more kind of you, Kira. He will take the bouquet in his currently dwarven hands. Oh. And he looks off to the horizon. You guys look over. You don't see it. Just it's just more flat blue to you guys. But he looks over and says, "It appears you're approaching your destination." I suppose I should make my leave then. It was very nice mm -hmm. to meet you. It was nice meeting you too. It's not every day you get to meet a dragon, so it's been a real pleasure for me. Oh, tell me about it. I haven't seen a dragon in. <laughs> oh, uh, we've seen like two dragons before we <laughs> saw you. Which is strange, honestly. Most people never see one. Yeah, we've run into a lot of dragons. There's a lot of you around here. Uh, I had a uh, copper every single time I've seen a dragon. I'm not a copper dragon, but I appreciate the humor. Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> uh, no, no, I mean... Uh, He's a bronze! And it's uh, disappointed the... with themselves. <laughs> uh, yeah, we did see a silver dragon from from the distance. Cause... Is that so? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was flying oh. west on the mainland. He didn't. He didn't care about us. Mm, yes. Uh, he can... looks genuinely interested. Are you sure it was a he? Uh, we weren't we close enough to check. He didn't care about us. I'm, I'm not sure how you sex a dragon. I don't know, but I uh, feel I, even more sad now. I am interested in finding out. <laughs> Elion? No! Elion, if it was a he, if it was a he, that means I have a trip to make and an old friend to them. Oh. That sounds serious. Well, it, it, it was roughly in the same direction where the swamp is, where the green dragon is. Roughly, though. Oh, boy. So what are you going to do? There, there isn't some dragon war going on, is there? Not currently, as far as I'm aware. Are you going to go on an adventure? I wasn't aware he was... Back to his normal self. Normal self? I have a friend, a silver dragon. He's been ill for quite some time. Aww. Dragons can get sick? Indeed. Quite sick. If it was him you saw, maybe he's feeling better now. If he's you. You see a, a little, just a very faint twinge of guilt in his face. I Aww. should go see him. You should. I'm going to go now and go see him. Okay. Thank you right. so much for keeping me entertained. Can you tell him we said hi? I, I will let him know. Excellent. Does he know you? No. Very well. I will tell him there are new friends that want to meet him. Yes. Just as you did for me, Kira. No. Safe journeys to you all. You Have too. It was nice meeting you. He will nod his head to you and look at you, and it's kind of see like the the admiration in uh in your eyes, and I'll hold out a dwarven hand to you. Uh, I I I will I will shake his hand. And I, As I, will, I will say goodbye in Draconic. Because I can you. do that. He looks impressed. And as he goes to shake your hand, uh, the, his dwarven hand transforms into a bronze claw. Not, doesn't, it doesn't, <laughs> pierce, it doesn't, it doesn't pierce you, but it's more of like a, like a, I bet you've always wanted to do this, haven't you? Sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Gently shakes your hand with a dragon claw. Wait, do you like hugs? I haven't had one in a very long time. Do you want one? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to give him a hug. We'll give you a big old bear hug. Aww. I'll turn to you, El Young. Do you want to hug a cooler human? <laughs> uh, you're calling me cooler human is all the hug I need. But... <laughs> But but keep polishing that pawn sword of yours. I will do my best. Uh, sometimes you just gotta wing it, you know. I already made that joke. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but come come to me with more jokes when you see when you learn more. Be happy to hear them. Hey, Nick, of course. Do you want a hug from him? Uh, I I shook his hand. That's plenty for me. I think. You don't want to hug a dragon? I give very good hug. He I've, does. I've had my spine almost crushed two times in the last week. I'm not looking forward to a third. I suppose. Maybe next time, then. Maybe, maybe next Goodbye, time. Bye, everyone. Goodbye! Bye! You will step up towards the the side of the ship and step up onto the railing. Look back at you all and just give a short nod, wave, and a wink. He will jump off and twist in the air as he turns. And his form suddenly expands again. <laughs> massive wings flapping, displacing the water beneath him as he turns into the massive 20, 30 foot long nose-to-tail dragon that you saw earlier. And his wings will unfurl and batter the air below beneath him as he goes up, circles around once, letting out a roar. 
A crackle of lightning escapes his mouth, deafening the air wrench for just a moment. A bit of, bit of showing off. Before you fly in a northwesterly direction. Incredible. Back toward what you imagine would be towards the swamp. That's amazing! We might have caused the dragon war by accident. <laughs> no, we're just rekindling friendships. I feel when you accidentally caused the apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys discuss this, you hear a bell ringing, and the man in the crow's nest yell, begins to yell at Land Ho. And you look over, and you can see the very, very faint outline of land on the horizon before you. Yay! That's not a nice way to call a land. <laughs> <laughs> the land's respectable lady. You arrive to the island of Brixalen, uh towards the end of the day as the sun begins to set. It is a jungly island with a, a small but fairly populated village on the coast with a deep water port as the boat docks. As, you, as everyone begins to unload, Vargas comes up to Kira. <laughs> Our end of the deal. Well, it comes up to three of you, actually. I was going to say, what? He's more familiar with you at this point, but he... Well, no, that's not true. He's had time to bond with you guys over the trip. So whatever. He comes to three of y'all. And he has three... Those same three uh, clay flasks in his arms. Oh. I said I would make these for you. And here you are. Three flasks of holy water. For you Thank to you. I will say, this was made with ocean water. So I would not drink it. Okay. There's also silver dust in this. So I wouldn't drink it either way. This, oh. would just, this would just make silver poison even more unpleasant as you died horribly from it. So, you know, don't drink it. Mm -hmm. Amazing. All right, right. But what if I just had a taste? I would not recommend that. Hmm. But would it kill me? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very long pause. I think he genuinely doesn't know. He genuinely doesn't know. No one's been stupid enough to try it before. Don't be that person. You're smarter than that. Mm, I do have a plus four in, but I only have a plus two wisdom. Hmm. <laughs> I have. A, I have a. I don't even have plus one on either of them. I got this. Oh no. <laughs> Neither do I. I am walking off the boat before you do anything that could possibly trace back to me. Uh, understandable. <laughs> Safe journeys. And uh, as, he, as he walks you. off the green plane, uh, both Gaynor and the captain come up to you as well. Well, Lad here says that paying for our stay here and take thing, and once you're done, we'll head back north to Ostia. So go do your thing. Take your time, please. Take your time. The jungle juice here is. Mm, wonderful. What <laughs> time you need? Jungle juice. Ready to go whenever. Jungle juice. And Gamer says, "Yes, please let us not dally too long." I promised them I would pay for their board and food and their drinks. So let's please hurry. Yes. Oh yes. Didn't you have? Didn't you have like five gold last time I checked? He just kind of doesn't really, seems like he doesn't really want to talk about it. <laughs> but you all arrive safely in the village of Novdoma on the island Yay! of Ruxalan. Yay! The sun is beginning to set now, but you guys can decide if you want to set out now or if you want to stay the night and head off in the morning or whatever you want to do. Either we're way. Going, we're going now. I, right I, now. I say we stay the night so we can get our sea legs back. Either way, that is the end of this session. Yay. Thank you all for coming out. This was very fun. <laughs> that, was a, that was a very fun session. Yeah, that was that. That was fun. <laughs> that was fun. F fucking Shrek dragon. <laughs> I, 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 I want to keep a tally of how much PvP is about. <laughs> it's about in some capacity. <laughs> I am so glad you and your resonated so well. I loved it. Oh my god. <laughs> I really liked him. Mm -hmm. Oh my god.
As soon as he said, let me come see me when you're done with your onion. What do you mean we're getting another quest? We, we, we're on a quest. <laughs> on a quest, in a quest, doing a quest, all around, there's multiple quests. Indeed. Them's the bricks. Mm -hmm. Oh, fun fact. Uh, his, his hit die are d20s. Damn. That's a rule near? That's a lot. Yeah. Damn. Ancient dragons, man. Was there a possibility he could have attacked us? No. I guess yeah. if we attacked him. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we're, why, dumb, our attacks, we're not that dumb, though. Our attacks probably wouldn't even go through. <laughs> probably <laughs> not. The fateful tale of the Sentinels of Tesmarine. No one knows <laughs> what happened to them, but there's one really charred boat at the bottom of the ocean. I would just cast hold monster, hold creature. <laughs> you don't have that spell. Yeah, it's a eight level or some shit. <laughs> Speaking of, yeah. did we get a level off that? Hey, no. Oh. That was level, man. <laughs> oh, thank God, I was the one who had to ask. <laughs> that was level up, man. Please, I want my fake familiar. Every time you ask, I push it back another session. No, wow. we'll never get it at this rate because we have Holy to time. Well. I just want my extra attack. We'll be stuck we'll at five forever. We'll get there, we'll get there. But we, we, I almost died. You did? You did almost die. So did Gaynor. Yeah, that was that was rough. Yeah. Uh, and and I almost did enough. <laughs> you almost didn't do anything. Know. Charm monsters are very effective against this party. That's very good to know. Hey, it's not gonna be next level because I'm gonna get a song that, that oh. cleanses oh. Uh, oh. stuff. Oh no, we're, we're never gonna get that level now. No, nope, yeah. we're screwed. Oh man. Sure. But, but just imagine I'm like, yeah, it's my turn. I'm gonna bam, bam, bam. It's like, oh, everything here is like bam, bam, bam. I'm plus hacking blade for I should. Uh, blade for I should go. Uh, blade for <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Ellie's projecting a little bit right now. Yeah. Well, maybe if the adventure in the Castle Valen goes well. Or maybe maybe extra attack goes to the other weapon too, because why not? <laughs> uh, I think you. I think it's only an action that you get extra attack on. I uh, whenever so you make the, the attack action, yeah. So I think it's main hand twice and then bonus action. Offhand once. Mm. I mean, they're the same stature the other way, so I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Yeah. Because you got the same sword in each hand. And I, and I can get, add my proficiency to both of them. Mm -hmm. Also, when when we level up, my, my normal AC is going to be 18. <laughs> Jesus. Do, do, do. Alright, well, you guys survived the journey across the Verdant Sea. Congratulations, oh. everybody. And we made a new friend. We did. We didn't see no gosh darn mermaids, no. either. Oh. Make sure you keep a track of who has how many uh, holy waters. I have one holy water in my inventory, and I have put it in there. Okay. Uh, I'm, I actually had a holy water from before this. Did you? Where'd you get it from? Uh -huh. Uh, I'm not. I didn't start with it, and I'm not sure where I got it from. But I are, are opened you... my inventory and I noticed I had one. That's weird. I, uh, might... I, find it... I wonder if I put it in there by accident when I was messing with it. Because it is under glaive, so I got it probably in the cave of the kobolds? Question mark or nose or whatever they were. I didn't put any holy. Did I? I. I don't think I put any. Oh, maybe Connie had some holy. Because I, I, we did loot the place. There were like chests and shit, and I found gunpowder and other yeah. stuff. Maybe, maybe you did find Connie's holy water then. Maybe that's what it was. 
And you just didn't give it back to her? Damn. She can make, she can make more. <laughs> she can. Apparently that's the thing that, that clerics and paladins can do is just straight up make holy water. They have the gold for it. I didn't Damn, know that. I should play a paladin. Yeah. Well, the best shoot classes in the game, I'm telling you. Cleric is yeah, pretty that, cracked, not gonna lie. That's right, actually so, where the idea came from, was I just like, oh wait, they can make this? I already have a cleric going with them anyway, sure, he's just gonna offer to make it for them. That's, that was my compromise for not having a paladin for you guys to take. Alright, oh. so I have two holy waters now, is, is that, that cool? Uh, yeah, I guess I gave you one, so yeah, sure. I, so, I also I forgot that's... about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's fine. It, it fair is fair. I, I don't think you're lying to me, so yeah, that's fine. Uh, so also, uh, uh, I was just gonna say, Aaron, uh, Alien doesn't know that the black powder he has is gunpowder. <laughs> He's just keeping it. Oh no! <laughs> he has zero clue. Oh Aaron. boy. And it's gonna catch you with a fireball one of these days. Like, out of desperation, <laughs> you're just going to fucking explode. It's gonna be very embarrassing. Well, uh, so, like I haven't, uh, I haven't written as black powder. <laughs> so just keep it in mind. Then uh, holy water is either it's an action to disperse onto a creature. Uh, you can either do it, you know, within five feet, just uncork it and dump it on something, and it's gonna guaranteed hit. Or you can make a an improvised range throwing attack, which would just be a dexterity check. Uh, would it work if I like put it on my blade? I like, thought about that, oil? and yeah, this isn't an oil; it's just one. Damn. I mean, it, it, it would be wet. The idea with water, the holy water, is that it's constant. So it's the same re same reason like you couldn't just like pour a little bit out to try to save it like that wouldn't work. It's it's the dosage is enough for like an all or nothing kind of deal. All right. I think so, holy oil could possibly be had, but that'd take longer and cost a lot more money because it'd be a lot stronger. So uh, so it would be an improvised weapon to troll. So yeah, so literally it's just a dexterity check. Like a d20 plus your dexterity modifier. Uh, uh, all three of us have good decks, I suppose. Yeah. It's also oh, just guaranteed if you three? do it in melee range. So. Wait, what's A in its decks? Uh, I it's have... Okay. I have a plus three. Yeah. A in oh. is pretty respectable dexterity. Wait, why? Because dexterity is really important for casters. To not get hit? Yeah, it uh... gives them AC and it's initiative. Yeah. So, you know, if I go first, I can get yeah. my big spells out immediately. Mm -hmm. That explains why I go last. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <sighs> I'm going to be honest. The Harpy fight was the, was the fight I was least looking forward to. I had other fights that I really wanted to get to. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. That's fine. Did it turn out better than you thought it did, though? Because yeah. it was spooky. Oh, yeah. It, it was so much better than I thought it was going to be. It's very spooky. I'm going to have to remember I, I, that I'm, I'm not just, a humanoid. I'm just used to fights being a wash. I'm, just, I'm glad this one kind of made you guys sit up a little bit. Dandy, but it has classic wow, classic wow uh, stuff. <laughs> God, you turn away, and then suddenly you just get slowed to half your speed every time someone hits you. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. right. uh, Alien just lost like eight health in that whole fight, <laughs> hey, and it got fucked up. <laughs> mm -hmm. I got hit twice, and that was all it took. Yeah, I was. I didn't even get below forty. Honestly, putting a level into cleric or something just to get heavy armor sounds really nice. You <laughs> don't need it. All right, I said before, if you're gonna do it, you got to pick a god. Yeah, I know, and I, I've been pretty wishy-washy about that. And I, I don't care if that's annoying. It's my RP, and I will cry if I. Yeah, I, I know. Well, it wouldn't make much sense for me to become a cleric if I didn't believe in the gods anyway. So. Yeah. 
Oathbreaker cleric. No. This doesn't <laughs> fucking exist. It's my homebrew class. Out of curiosity, what, what subclass would you go if you went cleric? Um... You to pick at first level. Hmm? I think Claire's good to pick at first level. I think, God, what was it? I think it was Peace was the one I was looking at. Not, no, not Peace. Uh, uh I, I, can't, I, I can't fucking remember the subclasses. Domains. The Coco really wanted, wanted to make, made me want to try a Tempest Cleric sometime, because those things look overpowered. They are. <laughs> I also want to try a Forge just so I can do my gun freeze. I think that'd be hilarious. Oh, I think it was Just... life. I never, you never gave me like the rundown on Bahamut and like what their their domain was. So I thought I did. Um, no, no, you you said you were going to, but you, you never. Did. Oh, my bad. Uh, let's do that now. Then I can pull it up real quick. That anymore. Man, what the fuck is with the, the player handbook subclasses? Like, the distribution is so fucked. Well, you mean, like, how Cleric has, like, eight and everyone else has two? Yeah, yeah Cleric and Wizard have so many. <laughs> it's ridiculous. D&D is a balanced game. Four. <laughs> yeah, Cleric has, like, seven. I was looking at Wizard earlier just to see what they had available. Just because I couldn't remember. All right, so Bahamut. His uh, su suggested domains are life. Or life or he got he got cut off. Life, order, and war. Hmm. You could be a war priest again. I could I could be a war priest again. Oh, so it's very exciting. Um. <laughs> let's see. He's the god of honor and justice. Um, pillar justice, protection, nobility, honor. Uh, he's like the lawful good, essentially. Hmm. Also, Claire or Wizard also has seven subclasses in the handbook. This is ridiculous. To be fair, I think Wizard is like one for each um, school of magic. Yeah, so I, I like that from a thematic sense. But Bard had two. <laughs> <laughs> Say, sorry, say that again. Pretty sure everyone else had two. Did, did, did Fighter have two? I feel like they had Yeah, Fighter had, oh, Fighter might have had three. Champion, Battlemaster, and Eldritch Knight. Barbarian said two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh, yeah, I guess this is an uniform. Whatever. Right. <clears throat> Commandments of Bahamut. Stand as a paragon of justice. Smite evil wherever it is found, yet show compassion to those who have strayed from the path of righteousness. Defend the weak, bring freedom to the persecuted, and protect the ideals of justice. Hmm. Actually, it, how, it, it, how does multi-classing casters even work? It's weird. Yeah, I don't, I don't think yeah. I'll fuck around with that, actually. Yeah, basically I you... Keep the spell slots, but... Yeah, and, and you use different, different stats for different spells. Uh, so, like, your shit is kind of mixed up. But hey, yeah. uh, I could totally go Paladin <laughs> and smite with my blades. <laughs> well, that doesn't that doesn't help me in my dying in two hits. If I kill the things fast <laughs> enough, you won't die. That's true. But smite What's is your... a heal in a roundabout sense. What what is and its wisdom anyway? Uh, I think he has a plus two. Yeah, he's, he's got fifteen. Um, oh um, really? Yeah. Why do you? You're so bad on okay because um, i have bad rolls okay yeah that, that'd be enough then and i have 11 wisdom me and 10, too 10 intelligence me it is, too it has some pretty good stats it's just yeah, I think that i get really unlucky i think you'd be fine um i'm not really sure how, i know there's like a, there's like a formula for it that once this problem is too bad once you figure it out but you just gotta figure it out. See, I think thematically, the most appropriate cleric for Anna to pick would be knowledge. True. But in a meta sense, that'd be kind of worthless to me because basically it's just giving them 
uh, cleric's wizard spells. <laughs> and I, I could just keep leveling wizard for that. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess if you want to go story-wise, you have met and adventured with the priest of uh, Bahamut. Yeah, yeah. I guess Tempest could work, because he's sort of interacted with the the Wave Priests. Yeah. Tide Sages. Yeah, yeah. The Wave Priests. Wait, yeah, Tide Sage, Wave Priests, close Wave enough. Priest was Boop's name for the water people. Get it mm -hmm. right. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Was it? Wait. Wave Wait. Priest. I think that's what I mean, it was. Uh, realistically speaking, uh, the best for you would be to stay at your class. Uh, yeah. Uh, meta wise. I got a class but feature it... next level too, so it's like mm, I don't want to miss out on that. It's a good one. Just have Kira mold class into cleric and make her. Can I repeat that. Just make Kira a uh, multi class into cleric and have her be the heal bot. Perfect. But I'm already Except... doing that. Except yeah. I can't cast spells when raging. Well, it looks like you'll have to go to anger management, Kira. <laughs> God damn it! With enough therapy, you <laughs> just not a good start. Your class. Like, you guys I... try and send me to anger management, I'll stab someone. There you go. Yeah, a bard would be a pretty good therapist. <laughs> I don't believe that. But like once once I get that next level, I I can cast spells like as if I was standing thirty feet away, and that's goddamn incredible. All right. So your no. range is just let me tech. Yeah, it, it's it's so good. Well, you better survive the next level then. Yeah, <laughs> that's the hard part because yeah. it's never yeah. gonna happen. <laughs> this is the terrifying thing about running these games is I have I have a barbarian who is. Who, for all intents and purposes, has over a hundred health. Pretty much. Than the, these two. <laughs> Magic bullshit. Hey, I'm not. I'm not squishy. I, I just don't get hit. <laughs> yeah. If you get hit, you're fucked, though. Yeah. Pretty much. So I've I've just constantly got like, hmm, okay, at this point of the story, what what could I justify having step in in case A and it gets got? Just... If Kira gets got, I've I've I'll come up with something. I believe in uh, myself. Yeah. Besides, I'm uh, I'm sure very capable in just healing for at least twenty five. <laughs> there you go. But if I die first, then, then we're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But but yeah, at, at, at level 6, I get fucking counter... Where is it? Counter charm. That might be helpful. That Either might right, indeed. Use musical or words of power to disrupt my influencing effects. Hmm. You and any friendly creatures within 30 feet of you have advantage on saving trolls against being frightened or charmed. So stick around with them. But the problem is that I have to just keep dancing while you two have an advantage, otherwise it stops. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Alright. Well, I think that's all I got for you guys tonight. So... Cool, cool, cool. Can I just say really quickly? Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Why? Why is Bard of College of Lore so fucking good? <laughs> it's really, it's bonkers, man. It's so good. Okay, I'm here working my my ass off to roll a one d eight that usually rolls not even up above five <laughs> or four. And and Bard of Lore just get counter spell cutting words. What the fuck? <laughs> I wish I had made Dorlin a fucking lore bard. Like, they can, at third level, they, they can just look at an enemy and say, No, you can't. It's advantage on the attack on my friend. Mm -hmm, mm 
And I'm just here swinging these bit swords around. You made an oops. <laughs> there you go. But it, it is a fun class to play. Uh, Bards of Sword. Yeah. I'm glad you guys are having fun. <laughs> this has been... Sometimes I, I, I get a little bit lost, but then sometimes I, I feel like I'm doing pretty all right. And this was one session where I feel like things are... You, you, things cut are you, you cut off near the end there. I'm just glad I'm just glad it's going well. I'm glad you guys are having yeah. fun. Yeah, I think you're doing a pretty good job. Mm -hmm. And we are doing a good job. Mm -hmm. Boop did make a point in chat. Is that... <laughs> Like, every time we get into an encounter, we kind of shit ourselves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we hit something once. It was like, oh, wait, we can win this. <laughs> Pretty much. Which is every time in every campaign. Once I was finally able to actually hit something, I wiped out both of the smaller harpies. It's fucking yeah. brutal. I, I kept me telling tell myself, remember, she's not a human, which is not a human, which Certain spells won't affect her, and I completely forgot. Uh, by the way, uh, I am a half elf, right? Uh, I think Are I you? would have a, I would have advantage against being charmed. Okay. Well, you guys got to remember these things. Uh, no, it's because it's because World Twenty. I'm pretty sure World Twenty didn't add. Yeah, yeah, it's right here. Fuck. <laughs> oh. Whoops. Cool. Well, now we know. Hashtag read your character sheets. <laughs> Also, I, I don't think I, I... I'm not even sure if I have every half elf thing I, sh I should have. I don't have Pro any ancestry. I don't know why, because I am... Yeah. You, you are actually fey, yeah. Oh, okay, well, that works. <laughs> yeah, you don't get the benefits of being descended from fey, because you actually are. Excellent. Uh, there is half elf versatility that I don't have, but I guess... I don't really need it, question mark. We can work on it, we can work on it. I could get 35 movement <laughs> as a base movement. Dang, that's I, a lot. I, I, I'm good. Uh, there is a, a pretty fun bar that I almost played, but it is, it is from fucking Unearth Ar Arcana. Oh, and you know how those can be. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I would never let anyone play Unearth Arcana in my game. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, fairies aren't on Unearth Arcana anymore. They finally got knocked. Yeah. Okay, so basically, the bard I wanted was College of Spirits. Ooh. I would basically tell you a story, and I, I would roll an inspiration die to see which story it is and which effect happens. <laughs> That's cool. I was like, oh, a That's... beast story. You recite the tale of a clever animal. For one minute, the target has advantage on wisdom checks and advantage on attack rolls against a creature if another enemy is within five feet. So it's like a wild magic, but for buffs. Yeah. I can see how that would have some problems with RP, though. Like, hey, tell us a story about the giant. Sure thing. So, there once was this mushroom, right? <laughs> hey, I, I, I do. I do have a giant story here. What the fuck are these wizard on Earth Arcana options? These are weird. Unearthed is weird, man. Although like, I do think the Drake on un 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 Earth Arcana is finally coming, and that that looks really cool. Well, these sound like they're subclasses that apply to multiple classes. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Like, um, fucking hold on. Like this one that I'm looking at here. Like it says, classes: druid, sorcerer, or wizard. This this is weird. I don't know. 
gonna take some dishes. I'll be right back. This one sounds like it's like a, a elemental magic, which is kind of cool, though. Hmm. Doesn't seem very strong, though. I don't know. Just skimming it. I don't remember that half elf is low key broken. <laughs> like, yes, I had, do have advantage against being charmed. It's it's weirdly strong for a kind of mundane race. <laughs> so it's not mundane. It's just. It's just a human with slightly pointier ears. Cooler human. It's more so hacking. It's like the cat girl of the <laughs> Honestly. Maybe I should do a war magic wizard at some point. Stop playing wizard. Never. It's that or I play an Eldritch Knight. <laughs> what do you want me to do, Ollie? A fighter or a wizard? <laughs> Fucking oh. cleric. <laughs> but I already did a cleric. A paladin. Yeah, I guess I could do a paladin. Rogue. I got bored with a rogue. Rogue. Spicy author. It, and he, he, did a, <laughs> he did a fucking... Meta rogue too. <laughs> By accident, I'll remind you. Oh, yeah. The goody two shoes rogue. Yeah. I don't should've, know why I remembered him as a should've, ranger. Should have just played a fucking ranger, honestly. Oh, you're talking about yeah. Kildor? Kildor, yeah. Yeah. I think Kildor deserves his. At some point. He deserves his what? What? All of them, really. I think y'all deserve... Those here deserve their time in the sun at some point. Yeah. I, I think I'll revisit it's... them sometimes. Yeah. Or, sometime. or, or, or characters meet fucking Oba. <laughs> <laughs> the, I, the thought of, like, making the Winter Sun campaign canon to this is intriguing, but I just feel like it caused more problems than it's worth. Mm. Uh, uh, but like the whole crusade arc is something I really I would I really want to try to try to do again. So I had a whole uh, thing planned for that. I tend to play very different characters from the last one I played. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it would be interesting. I like Piper. I think I would probably change her just a smidge bit though. Considering she was the first character I ever made. <laughs> For a first character, she was something else. Absolutely. That's fair. Would you make her more evil? No. I think I'd want to change her subclass. She was a oh. divination wizard, right? No. No. No, 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 no. It was a... Illusion? Yeah, she was an illusion wizard. Hmm. And I don't feel like I got as much out of the illusion as I would have liked. So I think I'd rather try like a different subclass. Alright. But that's n neither here nor there because she's... She's dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mark. Mm? There, there is a spell we could try finding the book for, so you can learn. Oh. Fucking outer self. Outer self. That is a thing you can do or learn, right? Uh, it's a wizard spell, yeah. Second. Yeah. Line. It includes hacking change appearance for one hour, but 
one hour is it's pretty a pretty long time. You assume a different form when you cast a spell, choose one of the following options, the effects of which last for duration. When the spell lasts, you can end one option as an action to gain the benefit of another. Interesting. I can become a fish, I can get tall. <laughs> you can like change your whole race. Interesting. But I can't become a quadruped. <laughs> hmm. Unarmed strikes do 1d6 bludgeoning, piercing or slashing is appropriate. Like, I, I don't think you would use this in a fight, but outside of it, sounds pretty good. It, yeah, it does sound pretty useful. It's a shame I can only use it on myself, though. Ah, fuck, it's only on yourself. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I guess if I got into a bear hug, that might work, but it, that, that would be at the DM's discretion. <laughs> The thing, the thing of yours is, is fucking useless then with your charisma. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you still streaming? Oh, yeah, I never oh. stopped. Whoops. Anyway, this is my address uh, and my security <laughs> number code. No. <laughs> you know what would be pretty cool for Piper? What? what? School of Necromancy. Oh. Hmm. Because technically, crows, like, symbolize, like, the messengers of death and whatnot. That uh, would have been uh, cool. That would have been the very interesting, considering kill those are, Kildor's opinions on necromancy. There is that. But... <laughs> well, Kildor already had issues with her to begin with, though, so... True. <laughs> uh, I really want to play a uh, necromancer as my next character. But, but there are so many options of Necromancer in the end, dude. See, I've always wondered how that works exactly. It's more of a team. Like, there's the type of spell called Necromancy, and there's a lot of classes that can learn them. Hmm. It's just a matter of what flavor I want. Do I want a, a heavy armor Paladin Necromancer? Or do I want a, a heavy armor Cleric Necromancer that is just a better Paladin? <laughs> cool, you can campaign win. <sighs> we evil could campaign. do an evil campaign. <gasps> uh, whenever you decide to run. Oh, okay. Uh, evil who campaign is you? Never, then. Very cool. Who is uh, you? Uh, me. I do. Yeah. I do know that fucking wizard has the best. Well, not best, but more, most interesting necromancy subclass. Hmm. Hmm. Fucking trolls that you can raise. Damn, yeah. that's pretty good. Warlock? Do they have a necromancy? I feel like they should. If they're fucking warlock. No, they. I'm confident they have like some raised spells. Warlock, undead subclass. I think warlocks are more focused on like demonic and stuff. Dead. All right. Seems like they don't really have anything directly necromancy, but. They do. That, that, that's weird. Sorcerer wouldn't have anything necromancy, I suppose. Sorcerer is a class I never played, and it always seems fun to play. I just yeah. never know which subclass to take from them, because they all have so... Interesting <laughs> types. Yeah. Fucking pyro pyromancer slap class. I feel like I I should do more with casters, but I just I just playing marshals, man. I just like the big bones. Have you played a caster though? Uh. Paladin. But I didn't really... He's a paladin. You don't use those for casting. You know that. I tried to, but... I, <laughs> but again, just... I wasn't sure how my spells were supposed to work, so I, I tried to a little bit with Rose. Doing a little Technically. Better. He's doing better with his spells, but... Like, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't count a paladin, because casting spells isn't really your thing. Like, it's something you can do. I mean, it could be his thing. It could be. But then you couldn't smite as much. 
And like, what, what kind of paladin aren't you if you aren't spamming smite like five times in a fight? Man, I, sure. I learned hard with it. I, if I use all my smites up right away, then I don't have any smites <laughs> You're left. just a slightly worse fighter. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Hey man, maybe like two level dip into Paladin and then level up Fighter. Get all the good stuff with uh, just Smite every now and again. Yeah, Fighter Paladin does sound like a pretty spicy mix. Eh, well, I mean, you need a lot of levels in Paladin to get better um, spell levels. Oh. So. Huh. Well, it's just a little extra damage still. Yeah. Mix it with like, a, I don't know, a Samurai or something. That could be pretty good. Uh, Samurai does interest me in playing, but I, I, I feel like the gimmick of attacking a shit ton of times effectively. I'm just thinking how how fun would that be? How many times would that be fun? <laughs> <laughs> just annihilate the action economy. Doesn't stand a chance. There it is. I guess I have to stop dawdling. I guess I have to actually plan out this dungeon. Oh, finally. We, we've got dragons, now we've got dungeons. It's all coming together. Alright, now, next dungeon, we just gotta not die. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, we, all we gotta do is remember that Kira is not humanoid, and I have fey ancestry. <laughs> and it is the weakest link here. And you have very high it's, wisdom. Which is hilarious, he's the only one that passes... I consistently yep. pass wisdom checks. Even yep. though I'm not very good at it. You so know it what? You're better than us, though. So it wasn't the charm that Kira shrugged off. It's just the fact that the spells only targeted human. And it, I think someone made a joke about, like, ain't it's human. I was like, wait a minute. I <laughs> and... Yeah, I, I mentioned I was I was reading off the thing, and... Yeah. Yeah. And if she was raging, she would be immune, right? No. No? I think that's uh, Berserkers that get that. Huh. Compensation I... for getting exhaustion every five seconds. For... Berserkers <laughs> actually seem like they would be pretty strong, but they just have like a huge drawback. Right. They're just strong, but not for a long time. <laughs> It'd probably be pretty easy to, you know... I... Shit, I've seen like reworks of it, like homebrew. It seemed pretty reasonable. Yeah. I can't remember them, but you know. I've seen one that's like a a scale and concentration check. I've seen one where first frenzy is free, like per long rest. And uh, I, I definitely want to play the frog race where I need to be moisturized every twelve hours or I die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why you wanted to do it. <laughs> There's a frog race where if you are not uh, submerged underwater uh, for 12 hours, you die. God. Every 12 hours, that is. So I, would, I just need someone with great water near me at all times. <laughs> or just do it yourself. I'll, I, would, I would be a gosh darn buildy class. Uh, artificer. Beauty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One thing I, I'm surprised I haven't done yet is fucking polearm mastery at, at warrior or fighter. Yeah. Everyone always talks about how overpowered. But... It's not even a matter of being overpowered. I'm... I'm, I'm... I'm just a simp for pole arms. I want to. I want to do a character that uses a halberd, but he doesn't has have pole arm master. Like he just refuses to get it. Yeah, it's a matter of principle. <laughs> He's just a low bringer for for honor. Exactly. He's got. He's got to yell Latin as you bring down your weapon. Infernus. So I've been looking at that video that you sent a while ago. I'll like changing up every weapon and stuff to make them unique. Mm. I feel like I might want to try that sometime. Because I think it's fun. Yeah. Like uh, uh I, I I have some basic ideas for whenever this campaign's over what I might want to do next. 
And I think that might fit that really well. Uh, I, 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 I didn't Kind of crappy weapons that just kind of having them in front with you. Uh, I didn't like every idea uh, in the video I had, but some of them were actually pretty fun sounding. Yeah. I was looking at like Pathfinder. Like, they, uh, every weapon in Pathfinder is unique, right? And I. But god, Pathfinder has so many more. He does it. Links. Yeah. But. The weapons in particular seem kind of cool. If nothing else, I like the variety of shield. Which doesn't really affect y'all don't really use shield so this one this party very much. But there's like the standard shield that gives you plus two AC, um there's like a buckler that gives you plus one AC, but you can still wield something in that hand too. And there's like a tower shield that's like plus three or plus four, but you have disadvantage on attacks or something like that. Uh, I'll get a buckler. I, I wouldn't mind having 19 AC. <laughs> I'm sure you would. Actually, actually that would ruin, ruin my drift. Never mind. <laughs> but I, I'm gonna go to bed. Yeah, it's, it's getting late. I gotta go to bed. Molly's okay. giving me that look. Yeah. She's just chewing <laughs> on the bone. Don't don't forget to end the stream yeah, if you I, haven't. I won't. I've been leaving it going so we can keep our rambling going. <laughs> just oh, leave it on a BRB screen, but just leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back totally next week. It'll be bed. fine. I'm totally gonna go to bed. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yeah, I am. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna grind the world for a couple more hours. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Ooh, you're not gonna grind. Liar. The world. New world. Oh, new world. It's, uh, it's fucking. <laughs> All right, Cole, I, I need to send you an image. Oh, no. I know. I hope you're ready for pornography. Yeah. I wouldn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> You'd never send pornography to people. Yeah. Here, Cole. Yeah, bro.